on the hot tag podcast live we just, are live yeah i just felt like motherfucking hot tag yeah hot Damn. tag thanks again to angel from the baldies that was fucking awesome that was yeah, man. fun definitely i like definitely, that guy definitely i like that guy. Uh, hand, hands down one of the most entertaining guys as far as wrestling that i've spoke to uh yeah yeah that was definitely a fun fun interview uh, and uh hope we can get him back soon so we'll we'll see. Well, actually, speaking of that, by the way, you can once again follow him at ECW Baldy Angel, and we can actually go ahead and just confirm that now. We're gonna have him again, uh, probably in about a month or month and a half or so. Uh, we're gonna have him on our WrestleMania review. Yeah. So he'll be here to review WrestleMania with us. So that should definitely be entertaining. That that tune in because you're gonna definitely want to hear that. Um, yeah. So, speaking of tuning in, we are gonna switch streams. We are gonna go to Mixler. Mixler. We're gonna have a there, there's a chat. You can listen live right in the chat. You'll be able to listen live right off Facebook. You won't have to go anywhere. Right off Twitter. You won't have to go anywhere. Right off Google Plus. You won't have to go anywhere. Um, you're going to have tons of ways to listen to the show after we sign up for that. Next week, we'll jump in there, but the chat room is working now, so go ahead and sign up for Mixler. Absolutely, man. We're upgrading. Upgrade yeah, with definitely us. definitely an upgrade. So Mixler.com um, slash THT podcast if you want to come on in the chat room, and uh, that's it. Just wanted to let you all know we are going to switch streams. It's going to be, a, uh, like Shaheen said, an upgrade. Yes, sir. I thought I would throw that out right away. By the way, um, next week we're going to have Chris Dickinson. And I'm going to get into more as far as that when we review uh, CZW. But uh, Chris Dickinson was at CZW on Saturday night. And I was at the show. Um, I briefly spoke to him afterwards. Uh, yeah, some, some shit went down with, with the CZW crowd. Um the crowd was being very rude, and you know that's not something new when it comes to the Philadelphia crowd. I mean, I'm 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 from Philly, but I'll be the first to say it. I mean, it's not I'm not gonna deny the facts. Um, and yeah, I, I guess he you know he he took it to the heart, and you know he's he's passionate about wrestling, and he pretty much just shat on the crowd, and you know basically just said fuck Philly and and this that and a third, and the arena was screaming fuck New York, and I'm sure that didn't rub him the right way and i think it's you know fair to mention that his, his parents and his grandmother was in the crowd so you know that's of course you, you don't want that to happen when your family's in the crowd so it's 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 understandable but uh we'll definitely have him on the show next week czw's chris dickinson and he's going to be here talking about what happened and uh you know his, his future upcoming events he's going to be i guess he's going to have a rematch with black g's um coming up at the next show uh who knows but we're going to talk to him next week, so definitely tune in. That's a hot topic on the indie circuit right now. Thanks to Mike Bessler for uh, picking up the pictures yep. 
from a CZW16 that I did. Thanks for the article. He quoted us, and uh, yeah, appreciate it, man. I guess 411, 411 Mania picked it up, Wrestling Inc., um, some other websites. So Thank shout out to everybody that picked it up. Chris Dickinson will be on next week, so that should be interesting. Nice. Yeah, I think you said WrestleZone also, so. Yeah, yeah. So, so. shout out to them, too. So. Yeah! Not, uh, actually, never mind. All right. Yeah. Um, I'm, I think I'm, I'm, I'm going to stop bashing people on the show. Yeah, you, <laughs> you might want to do that. Um, yeah, I do, um, stop. Do, uh, well, since you're talking about CZW, you want to go ahead and, you can, uh, you want to go ahead and do it? You want to talk about yes. it? Yes. CZW, uh, overall, well, let's, let me explain to you what happened yeah. at CZW. Um, Steve and I attended the show, Steve McBreen, um, from, from the Facebook, and uh, I don't know about him, but I almost died about 30 times getting to the show. Um, <laughs> I, I live about 25 minutes away from Philadelphia, from the ECW arena, and it took me literally three hours and some change to get there. Now... Mind you, the last couple of times Philadelphia got snow, we were anticipating a lot of snow, and we got about an inch or two. So I'm guessing people took it lightly, and that includes the city itself because there was no salt on the ground, and it was just a mess, dude. And you know when, when, when dry snow, when fresh snow comes in and it gets compressed by tires, it's, it was just a mess, dude. And it was traffic, so they couldn't, you know, apply any snow to the ground. Mm. And they couldn't plow the snow or anything. So it was just snow on top of snow on top of snow. And being stuck in the traffic for hours, it was just getting worse. And, you know, when your car is at, at a standstill and you try to get going again, you, you, you tend to kind of wiggle through the snow. So I had to kind of find a flow and just, just, just kind of go along the, the route that other tires left, the, the tire tracks. And that kind of got me there, but... Yeah, it was definitely scary, man. I almost died like 20 times. Not good, Shaheen. Be safe, my man. Not good at all. Not good at all. Be safe. We have a podcast to to, 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 to podcast. Right. Have, what what's more important say? than that? Just stay alive for the podcast. Dude. I mean, really. I mean, anything. <laughs> I mean, forget, you know, <laughs> forget pussy. Stay alive for the podcast. <laughs> yeah. And by the way, don't forget to marinate the pussy. Exactly. At, at two hours, you said. At least two hours. At least two hours. At, at least, least two, two hours. hours. So, you know, if, if you go like two and a half hours, it's like guaranteed to be good. Oh, you yeah. It's that, yeah. That's that juicy, juicy, fresh. That's that good stuff. So <laughs> marinate it for like two and a half hours, dude. Let's see what happens. Um, I'm going to marinate some pussy right now. Um, I'll go back to it in a day. Yeah. See, oh, damn, that, you, going you think that would go bad, though? Oh, no. No, you think I can? Well, I don't know. You can revive it if it does. What? Freeze it and put it in the microwave or something? <laughs> I don't know. I, do I, don't know. I don't know. Can't, I, was fucking, can't, I was joking. Can't revive pussy that went bad, dude. <laughs> I was fucking pussy. with you, man. Calm down. <laughs> pussy has an expiration date on it, man. It's like a, you know, you don't want to have it smelling like a can of tuna now. No, no. no. You want to marinate it in some some nice goodness, not marinate it. Fishy, yucky shit. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about, Boxman. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You got, the, you got the stripper man voice. Oh, yeah. St stripper announcer. Come on, a little dip and put the strip in. The more you give, the more they take off. Let's go. Hey. Yep, that's that's exactly what I meant. There you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, CZW, I got there. We got to tailgate a little bit, drank a little bit. Um, we got some hot dogs this time that weren't cold. So thank you, CZW, for not having cold oh. hot dogs on like Extreme Rising. Um, and I know I won't stop bashing Extreme Rising, even though it's like a year old. Uh, so whatever. I'm I'm still bitter about the cold hot dogs and not getting my refunds. So fuck them. I can't um, believe you had cold hot dogs. Yeah, dude, they they went to the store and bought hot dogs and didn't boil them. Didn't you know? They didn't have a working microwave. They didn't microwave. have anything. I know, but no, even a microwave. No. No, they didn't even have that. They just came with just a, a pot of boiling water with, like, 20 hot dogs in there. A fucking with lighter. Like, a lighter. Yeah. A lighter? Uh, I think I'd pass on that. Anything, man. <laughs> fucking anything to heat it up. A goddamn... Dude, it, it wasn't even the fact that it was cold. Oh, it was you. just... There was no bun, no ketchup left, nothing. It was just, like, fucking, you know, like, cavemen. Just, you know, like, like, here's like, some cold hot dogs if you're hungry. It's like you're eating a fucking... 
fucking dildo. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus. Well, well, all right. Anyway, go ahead, Sheen. I'm sorry. I messed you up. I'll there. tell you one thing. I'd rather eat those cold hot dogs than eat some overly marinated pussy that went bad. There you go. Eh? Ex expired okay. pussy, as we, as, we, as we would call it. Expired pussy, yeah. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Yep, it's overly done. Not in a good way. Overly oh. done. Um, we should probably get back into CZW. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably should get back to CZW. It's but, taking um, a turn. Okay. <laughs> yeah, dude. Um, CZW returned back to the 2300 Arena, formerly known as the ECW Arena. Um, this was the first time they came back in three years because of a few situations that happened in the building. And, you know, there's a lot of restrictions on the 2300 Arena as far as... I mean, Philadelphia as a whole, which is, you know, mainly the reason why they do the shows in New Jersey. Because I guess New Jersey's a little bit more lenient with their, uh, you know, ultra-violence rules or whatever. But uh, no light tubes allowed at the 2300 Arena. You know, I guess no, like, staple guns, none of that stuff. Which, you know, if you think logically, I mean, it's not really a big surprise. True. Not too much to ask for. Like, hey, don't kill each other with staple guns. But, hey, that's what CZW is. That's what the fans enjoy. Including myself, I don't care if you call me sick. Fuck, I don't care, dude. Uh, it's it's fun to go, and and you know, it's it's a it's a good time. But regardless, I had a great time. Some of the wrestlers couldn't make it due to the snow. A lot of fans couldn't make it due to <laughs> snow. But you know, CZW always puts on great shows, and I I definitely enjoyed myself. Awesome. Yes, sir. I think it's uh Matt Tremont spoke to him briefly. Definitely a nice guy. Thanks. Nice. For, thank you once again for coming on the podcast. We'll be back on again. Uh, he had a match against Stockade, um, which again, you know, they they couldn't do the ultra violence that they usually do. So what? maybe, yeah, maybe then Jesus, what was that? I'm I'm I I, I no, go ahead. I I'm thought sorry. you were punching the microphone. I thought that's how pissed you were getting. No, Jesus. I don't. I, I don't know what made a noise. I'm sorry if I made a noise. I'm just looking at something real quick and wondering if this is real. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, but uh. Yeah, man. I mean, I'm sure it didn't get the crowd reaction that they expected. And you know, I'm I'm, I'm going to be honest. You know, I'm not going to kiss ass on here, as you obviously know by now. But um, yeah, it didn't it didn't get the reaction that they expected, and that's simply due to the fact that they couldn't really do much. You know, I mean, they used the barbed wire a little bit, but that's nothing when you do it on a, on on this CZW platform, because that's you know, it, it's it's been done before, and it's it's kind of it doesn't really surprise anybody. It's not impressive anymore so people are used to the light bulbs people are used to those things so it was it was lacking a little bit in, in, in the violence department but uh there was a really good match with chris dickinson and black g's that did not get over with the crowd which is you know we're gonna discuss this next week but uh really good stiff match dude i mean i'm talking fucking stiff easily the hardest chops i've heard in person i mean dude i i was cringing it sounded brutal. The kicks, and I, honestly, I think a lot of it was because he was getting pissed at the crowd. He was just, you know, poor, poor Black Jesus. I guess he was taking it out on him. But Jesus, I mean, Black Jesus is from Philly, but I'm sure, I'm sure they're they're good friends, and you know, there's nothing to it. But uh, yeah, it was definitely a stiff match, dude. It was it was a good match. Um, Chris Dickinson lost. Um, I think he's he's gonna get his rematch at the next show. But uh, this was a good match. We had a match with a. Uh, uh, John Silver and, and uh, actually, what's uh, Chuck Taylor came back. Chuck Taylor, John really? Silver, and and another guy that they brought in that I forgot his name. Um, I guess Alex Reynolds. He he couldn't be there to do the show, but uh, they had a replacement for him, and they went against Team Tremendous. And Team Tremendous is from House of Hardcore. They were trained by Tommy Dreamer, and these guys are fucking awesome. One of them had a WWE uh, developmental contract, but uh. He's back on the indies. This guy, he dresses like IRS, and he kind of looks like the big boss man, except bigger. Huh. But, dude, his agility is insane. He moves around like Jeff Hardy. Really? Yeah. I mean, dude, he does, like, moonsaults and just all kinds of crazy shit, you know? And uh, these guys, man, they can go. They had a really fat guy with them <laughs> that was dressed as a cop, and it was the funniest thing. And this guy could move again like, like Jeff Hardy, you know? I was like, what the fuck is going on? Wow. But uh, it was it was awesome. It was a it was a ladder match. I mean, not a ladder match, but a ladder got incorporated into the match, and that was fun. It was a tables match actually, so you saw a lot of table spots. It was good stuff, man. It was it was definitely a good show. Um, I'm trying to think what other match we actually um 
see, this is what I like about CZW, and I'm not just, you know, I'm not kissing ass or anything, but this is this is why they have diehard fans because, um, you know, of course there was a lot of snow, so that makes it kind of difficult to get to the arena, and you know, Philadelphia, that it's a lot of back streets, so it's 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 a pain in the ass, all right, and for whoever showed up, now mind you, they were doing an eye pay per view, so they could have. You know, just aired this on iPay-Per-View and, and, you know, really satisfied everybody, all their fans. But they wanted to dedicate this to the fans that showed up live, that went through the snow, that actually... Because, you know, a lot of people come from New York, New Jersey. CZW has a hardcore fan base, dude. I mean, their front rows are impossible to get because they sell out. They, I mean, not even sell out. They sell them the same people every time. So people are going to the, every show. Um, and they actually did... Uh, did after the main event, they did a six-man ultra-violence match that did not get aired on iPay-Per-View, and I don't think it's going to be on the DVD either. So it was an exclusive for whoever was there in person, and nobody else got to see it. And in that match, they brought in uh, like carpet strips, you know, like the boards with the nails in there. Mm-hmm. Um, carpet strips. There was like cubes made out of carpet strips. They threw each other on on top of you. Oh man, it was it was brutal. And it was Lucky Thirteen against Danny Havoc against uh, Devin Moore. Um, Nation of intox, uh, fuck man, nation of intoxication. It, it was, fu- I was gonna say intoxicity. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, it, dude, it was a, it was a it was a brutal match for for you know what they could do. I mean, there was a lot of restriction again. They they couldn't use light bulbs. They couldn't do a lot of the stuff. They couldn't do thumbtacks. None of that stuff. So they did. I mean, <laughs> then again, you know, uh, carpet strips. That's not really safe either. But I don't, I don't know. I don't really see the big deal with the light tubes i mean there's been a few incidents where people got seriously injured but these guys they, they've been doing it for a long time they know they know how to get through it but um overall it was a really good show man i mean uh you know for what happened with the weather and all the other factors that go into it some of the wrestlers couldn't make it and this that and a third i thought it was a really good show they, they definitely delivered as as usual and uh tournament of death is coming up i'll definitely be a tournament of death um and I'll get some nice pictures. You can also check out the pictures that I that I took from the show at uh, Wrestling Inc. Go ahead at uh, WrestlingInc.com. 411 Mania. Did they post it? I'm not sure if they posted it. But uh, I know Wrestling Inc. did. Go ahead and check them out. There you go. And that was your CZW review. There is CZW. CZW. Sounds like a radio station. Jesus, man. What are you doing? Opening a beer. Killing my ears. Maybe I have you on too loud. Let me see if I can turn you down. I'm opening a beer. You shouldn't be able to hear me opening a beer. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I just have, like, fucking ultra-sensitive. I don't know. I am, uh, I am, just so you know, I am drinking Red Stripe again. Yeah, by the way, uh, in dedication to Boxman, we were drinking Red Stripe, (laughs) and that shit is good. Yeah, my poor Boxman account. It's all gone. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. we're, we're going to keep the gimmick going. Eh, who cares? You're, you're, you're still box, man. Who cares anymore? I'm so sad. Dude, I can only call you box, man. That's fine. I don't mind. I'm, I'm too used to box, man. I'll, I was debating whether to just leave my rail, my regular account or just start another box, man account. But I don't want to start another box, man account and have him kill that one, too. Yeah. So. Fuck it. Fuck it. I'll just leave whatever. Fuck it. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. I don't care. So, well, I guess we should get into Fastlane. Bam, and we're already there. We're at Fastlane. We're at Fastlane. There it is. There you go. There it is. I guess we should go ahead and get into it. Do we have? Well, overall, did you did you like the show? Because everybody shat on the show. I didn't think it was that bad. I thought there were. I thought the matches themselves were good, but if you think about it, you really didn't have a clean finish out of many of them. Um, yeah. But the matches themselves, yeah, were good. I mean, it wasn't a. I mean, it wasn't a great pay per view. It kind of reminded me of Sunday Night Raw, really. Sunday Night Raw. That's what it reminded me of. It was just like a like a like a special Raw to me. Um, I don't know. A lot of those matches you probably could have seen on Raw. Yeah. Uh, well, I don't know. my main problem with the show was the pacing. 
thought the pacing was awful. Yeah, that's true. It was awful. Dude, you don't start a fucking card with a 25-minute six-man tag team match. I mean, Jesus Christ, man. That that killed the crowd. Hmm. You're supposed to rile them up in the, in, in the beginning, you know? Put a quick fucking high-spot match, get them going, and, and, and keep the, the cheers going, you know? Yeah. Start out with a fucking six-man match with... You know, which the match was good. It was just, I think it was too long. I mean, there were some cool spots in there. It was just too damn long, man. And anything with Big Show and Kane getting the pin on Ziggler, it's like, oh, Jesus. Why are we doing this, man? Why is this guy still going? Who benefits from this? I, 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 and that's what I got no clue. I guess Seth Rollins is the only one who's going to benefit from it. But I don't know, man. I, I don't know. They just job Ziggler out, and then he, you know, <clears throat> wins last night. I don't know. The poor, I, I, I kind of feel bad for Ziggler. I really do. They're really bipolar with the booking, man. They when it really to are. They really it's are. Like, I mean, the guy gets a big push in Survivor Series. You know, they, they, they kind of, not team him up, but they line him up with Sting. They give him that rub. You know, Sting kind of subliminally co-signs Ziggler. He helps him out twice. And mm-hmm. it's like. After that, it's like, what the fuck, dude? Why is he losing to Kane? If anything, have Seth Rollins at least pin him. Yeah, exactly. Kane? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and, and then he Kane! Goes, Let that, then... please! Don't yeah. marinate the pussy. Let that marinate in your mind. <laughs> Kane is getting pins on Ziggler. Still. Yeah, 2015, and, then... and Kane is winning. And then last night, Ziggler pins the, the IC champion. Yeah. What? I don't know, man. I guess they're <laughs> they're trying to keep Kane... Strong, they're trying to. I don't fucking get it. Oh, yeah, you got to keep Kane strong. It's peanut butter jelly time. Thank you, Kane. Appreciate that. <laughs> it's it's horrible. That really was Kane, by the way. It was, dude. Not only do we have Gucci Man and Angel on the show today, we have fucking Kane. No, you don't even know what I found, dude. I went. <laughs> I got. I, I. All right. Let's let's cut away from Raw for a minute. Or fast lane. Fuck it. I was please. on. <laughs> what? No, I was saying please go ahead. Okay, I was looking on for some more sounds because you know how I love my sounds, and I found WWE had some soundboards up here, and one of them is Great Khali doing other people's catchphrases. That's amazing. I th- I saw you. Post that up. Oh yeah. Now you got to hear how amazing this is. Please Ready? Share with us. Yes. Stone Cold. To, and this is Kyle. I can't believe they even had him do this. Here we go. Here, here's one right now. And that's the bottom line. <laughs> Did you hear that? Yeah. Okay. Sounds sounds slow. Poor guy, man. I mean. Yeah. I, this is. I, I can't make it any louder. So it's going to be as loud as. Let me see something here. Yeah, my speakers are at 100. percent Want to hear Booker T? Sure. Can you dig it, suck up? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> By the way, Booker T can't even say happy birthday, man. Did you, did you catch that? Shit. I did, man. How do you botch a happy birthday? Yeah, that guy is horrible. I'm, I'm sorry. I don't think he's that bad, but Jesus, man. How do you botch no, a happy birthday no. song? I think the commentating on Raw with him is so bad. Oh, the, the commentary period is garbage. Everything he says, JBL has to come up with a fact to refute it and make him sound like a fucking idiot. Why? By the way, why but, would you? Because do it's fucking WWE. This is what they do. I know. But why? This is what we get. Michael Cole can sit there and lie about facts all night. He won't say a word. Fucking Booker T says something. And JBL has to argue with them, refute it, point out a fact to where he's wrong, and then, well, why should we believe anything Booker T says anymore? <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Fuck that guy. <laughs> they shoot themselves in the foot all the time, man. This is this is nothing new. <laughs> it's but, it's uh, horrible. Quick question for the chat room, which by the way, chat room mixler dot com slash tht podcast. There you mixler go. is m i x l r dot com backslash tht podcast um by the way for the folks in the chat room can you hear me fine because i stepped away from my mic so i don't i think i was too close to the mic so i want to see if i sound better like this nobody somebody can let me know greatly appreciate that well i can tell you one thing no one's complaining you sound the same in my ear 
All right. So just keep going, man. All right, Dad. So let's see. He's got Ricardo. I'm not going to play all these, but I'll play a few more. Let's all right. See. Triple H. It's time to play the game. Oh, yeah. It's time to play the game. Game. <laughs> you forgot the uh. Yeah, he did. But I'm sure they didn't want him to do it. Let's see. We got uh, Ric Flair. We got to hear Flair. Ready? Woo! Woo! <laughs> oh, dude, that was a weak-ass woo. Oh, that might be my new sound effect. Shame on him. That, that was horrible. Woo! <laughs> yeah. All right. Mr. McMahon. I'll tell you what. Is he trying to say fired? You're fired. Yeah, that was wow. All right. I, I'm not even complain anymore after that one. I'll, but... I'll, I'll tell you one thing. This dude is definitely not marinating any vagina. <laughs> no. Not I don't know. He that. might be. I mean, he's a big, tall guy. You know how chicks always want to see a big, tall guy. He's got the old fucking, if everything is tall. Yeah, but you, you're, you're not walking into the bedroom with your Ric Flair robe and stripping down and going, Ugh. That'll scare the shit out of people. Uh, I'm marinating that, man. No. You scaring, gotta, you're scaring the cat away. Yeah, you gotta push that shit out. Fucking. Woo! Yeah, Woo! That's how you do it. Yeah, man. Ric Flair swag, man. That's how you do it. Get some Ric Flair going on. There you go, man. Walk in, just look at that girl and tell her. And you're gonna bleed all night long. Uh, Fuck yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I can't co-sign that. <laughs> can't co-sign that one. No. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't like. I don't like my vagina marinated in blood. Um, oh well, I, I I was just you know I, I I stay away from that. Okay, so fast lane. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Pick yourself up, box man. Should have a should have one of those sound bites like you know the you sick fuck you sick fuck have one of those playing in the back. Every time you, you say some sick ass shit like that. Yeah, whatever. You sick fuck. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. You sick fuck. I know. What am I gonna do? Yeah. So. Dude, yeah. we got a lot on the news. We got fucking fast lane. We got raw. It's almost it's ten already. Dude, Raw's gonna take us no time to go through. Yeah. All right. Let's let's do this. Yeah. So first match, I thought it was. Whatever. Anything with Big Show and Kane is whatever to me, dude. I'm a big fan of Seth Rollins. Um, Ziggler is fine. Ryback. Uh, Rowan, I mean, they, they should really break this this faction up. Though. I'm kind of tired of this. I mean, it's like the fucking the fire job squad. I, I don't get it. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Nothing in common. Not Other than being fired. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. But it just, they don't, they have no chemistry. You know, it's it doesn't make sense. Ryback is nothing like Rowan. Rowan is nothing like Ziggler. Ziggler's nothing like Ryback. None of them are, you know, alike at all. And you don't even have to be alike to be in a faction. You can be opposites and make it work. But with them, it just it doesn't work. Yeah. Yeah, I know. It's weird. It's weird. You still there? Yep. Oh, yes, sir. Up. I thought you cut out for a second, but I guess you didn't. No, no, no cutting out. No, no. So, cut yeah. out for what, man? We're 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 doing this professionally now, man. We're Damn on, right. Skype. We're on, yeah, we're on we're on Skype. Mixler. We're on Mixler. There you go. Mixler. dot com slash tht podcast. Right. Next go. week we'll be up there and cranking. There you go. But uh, yeah. Let's get back to fast lane, man. Second match. What do we have? Match number two. Gold Dust and Stardust. Yeah. Um, what was with Stardust coming out with half of his outfit and then on Raw he had the full outfit? I didn't catch that. Uh, a little something special for pay-per-view? I guess. Yeah, we'll just go with that. It wasn't very special. Though. It was just... No, if anything, it was just less. It was a little weird. But, but good match. I... I Obviously, these two are going to WrestleMania, which I'll, I'll look forward to that match more than I did this one. So, Yeah. Well, like I told you last week, man, I knew it was going to happen, bro. Oh, yeah. I yeah. knew he was going to spaz out and 
beat up his brother. No, I did say he was going to beat up Dusty, but that didn't happen. But that would have been nice. That would have been fun. Would have been nice. That well, yeah, this match was all right, man. They they botched the ending, though. Did you catch that? It looked like it. I thought so, yeah, too. They, they botched the pinfall, man. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Yeah, it was a weird crucifix, but it worked, I guess. It did the job. Yeah. So... Yeah, I mean, it, it just, I mean, come on. This pay-per-view was just nothing but a forward storyline for w for WrestleMania, so. Oh, come on now, Boxman. We're on the road to WrestleMania, man. Yeah. Um, gotta, come on, you gotta be more more excited for this. Okay, I'll try. No, no? Maybe no. after, maybe, maybe after Red Stripe number four here, I'll be more excited. No, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. <laughs> Anyway. Maybe. Maybe. So, uh, then we get into the next match, which is... I, I, I actually like this match a lot. Uh, Tyson Kidd and Cesaro versus the Uso crazy Ooh. motherfuckers. No. Oh, that's oh. nice. Oh, that wasn't nice. Shh, man. We might have to give me the dick of the week. No. We'll do it later. <laughs> no. But, um, but uh, I don't know. I, I like this match. Yeah, I thought it was a really good match, man. Yeah. I mean, Tyson Kidd and, and Cesaro are, are awesome, dude. This is the type of tag teams you need, you know? Guys that are actually making it work as a tag team. Like, I actually, I like them. I If anything, if you're not doing anything with Ryback, dude, I'm cool with Ryback. So I thought that was a great tag team. You know, guys like that that can mesh together and work together, I'm fine with. These two guys can go... Obviously, they're not pushing Cesaro as a singles competitor, so why not put him in a tag team? Certainly, you're lacking in that department. You have fucking uh, primetime players and, and the Ascension, and that's pretty much it. So, why not? Well, they're champions, so that's a good thing. Yeah, definitely, man. Yeah. I, I like how uh, Natty's kind of turning heel with them. Yeah. It's kind of so It's nice. Yeah, it's, it's nice. That I... I I got no problems with any of it. I like Cesaro and Kid. It's a little surprise they're champion so soon, but I mean they really haven't been pushed that much. But hey, good. Give them a shot. Try them out. See what happens. Yeah, don't worry. They'll lose it at WrestleMania to the Usos again. Oh man, maybe the Ascension. Oh God. <laughs> I I hope not, man. Those guys, they're losing to the primetime players for God's sake. What does that say about you? I don't know, man, but they were squashing people before. Now they're losing to the PTP, so. Yeah. Yeah, definitely, man. But, uh. Says they're going back to NXT. <laughs> shit, man. Might, might as well. Might as well. Yeah, why not, right? Yeah, why not, man? Yeah. Next, next match, please. Next match. Uh, <clears throat> well, we didn't have a match next. Next was the Triple H and Sting in ring face to face. Oh yeah, this is uh, this is interesting. Triple H, this is this is when you know he means business. He brought out the leather jacket and the water bottle. Yes. Holy shit. Yes, this is the game. We're not getting tri we're getting the game. Yeah. Um, this is this is the game. You're not getting the COO. This is this is the game. Yes. Either way, yeah. I, I I loved this. I have to say, I'm loving this build up. I'm I think this is perfect booking the way it's going. I, I, maybe it's because Sting is something fresh and new in WWE, and I said in WWE. I don't know. Maybe that's. I don't know, but I'm I'm loving this whole little feud. Yeah, I have I have no problem with the build up, man. I thought. I thought this was awesome. I mean, what's, uh, you know, people like to complain about everything. This is one thing that I thought they did very well, aside from the tag team uh -huh. um, tag team match on the card. I thought this was awesome, man. Um, yeah, they got, they got Triple H offering Sting to kind of squash the whole beef. And he says, you can live through the WWE Network. We can sell figures. <laughs> and you can live through our DVDs. <laughs> went on to bury WCW after fucking 14 years later, 15 years later, you know? Oh, they gotta bury WCW. But don't forget, the network is full of WCW, so buy it for 
Yeah, and WCW is the best uh, selling DVDs they put out. Yep. That yeah. and the Paul Heyman, so. By the way, when he said that, I love how the one fan screamed, He's got a great point, Sting! Oh my god, that he fucking fan was <laughs> just... <laughs> Dude, that was, that was fucking Christ. hilarious. <laughs> Overexcited WCW guy. Holy shit, that guy screamed all night. Yeah, but this wasn't sarcasm, though. This, no. This was funny. No. Got a he, great point, Sting! You heard that guy through that whole thing, though. Cause yeah. Because that crowd was a little dead. And, I don't know, Austin said that the acoustics in that building suck, but I don't know. Yeah, well, you know, he's doing the podcast with the WWE now, so. Oh, yeah. I mean, that, e that explains that. That that does explain that. Um, yeah. But, let's see. I like I like how they got, like, the, the, the five people were doing the WCW chan for, like, five seconds. <laughs> I like the stang sign. You see the stang? Yeah, I did. I stang. Did stang. <laughs> It's dying. Yes, I did. I don't know. It I, was it was it, it was fun. It was it I, was fun. I like. I'll it. tell you what though. I do like the fact that they're keeping Stang silent. Mm -hmm. I think that adds a lot to this. If if he was just speaking and they brought him out as like the general manager, like it was originally rumored they were supposed to do. Oh God, that would have been awful. Yeah, somebody was talking about um how um oh he he, he should be talking. He should be saying something, and I'm like. No, he shouldn't. He should shut his mouth and not say a word. Point to the sign. That's exactly what he should do. I, I don't want. I don't need to hear Sting say a word. Yeah, please. No, keep no. him silent. He doesn't no. need to say a word. He no. can speak after WrestleMania. That's fine. But exactly. until then, yeah, keep him can, silent. Yeah, he can speak at WrestleMania. That's fine too. After the match, during my, I don't care. But yeah, look, right now, I understand Undertaker did this. You know, like two years ago. I don't care. I don't care. Yeah. By the way, are they are they scripting even like fucking Triple H? Because he sounded overly scripted this this time. Maybe I wouldn't doubt it. I wouldn't doubt if he'd be the oh, okay. I'll take a script guy. I mean, he's almost the owner. <laughs> it's kind of it's weird. I don't know. He might. But he definitely sounded scripted though, man. Or maybe he wrote it and remembered it and brought it out i don't know you never know yeah i guess you never man. know you never, I guess. never know well we got an altercation between them after uh he brought out the the fucking hammer yeah sledgehammer yeah. yeah we got the sledgehammer back and we finally got to see sting with a bat in the wwe we a lot of people were saying oh they're not gonna let him use yep. the bat Chill, dude. Chill the fuck out. Just, just let this story unfold. They're gonna let. They're gonna make this happen. This is the one thing I kind of have faith in with the WWE is, yes. is the Sting situation. The Shield, I had faith in them. The Wyatts, I did have faith in them. They completely fucked it up. But you know, the Shield, uh, even even like Sami Zayn, I think they're gonna do well with. You know, certain guys, I've I've hopes in. But I think Sting is gonna be fine. Um, they know. He is he's royalty, you know. The the guy's had an illustrious career. You want to capitalize on that. You really want to have that be your main focus going. In, you know, at least one of your main focuses going into WrestleMania. You don't want to make this guy look like a clown. Yeah. Yeah. They kind of, actually they kind of are making him look like a clown. They kind of, you know, bury the fucking whole WCW roster over and over again, saying, you know, well, this is exactly why why we won. This is this is why they lost. Like, all right, dude, this is. It's like 15 years later, man. I know. You won. You own them. It's all right. Let it go. Yeah. And they... You're building a story, man. Just let build a fucking story. You don't need to see, you know, you, need to, you don't need to measure dicks this time around. You're just, it's 15 years later. <laughs> you don't need to measure dicks. You there don't, you McMahon. You don't need, uh, like, Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's, I don't know. It's weird, but yeah, but I'm definitely loving this whole Sting, Triple H thing. But yeah, the WCW... I don't understand why they just have to trash the shit out of it. Every fucking time they get a chance, they do. It's oh yeah, it, it's just ridiculous. And like I said, and like you said, sorry, you said it, not me. The, the, some of the DVDs are their best sellers. Yeah, absolutely. So, them and them and ECW. Yeah, as much as somebody, Kevin Dunn hates it, somebody wants to see it. Yep. So. Absolutely. Well, next match around, man. This I like this. This this was good. 
Next match was the. Uh, you liked the Nikki Bella Page match? Please. What? Please. Well, that's what was next. No, oh, please. You know, well, you know what I mean by please. All right, I'm <laughs> sorry, but Nikki's ass looks great, and that's all I said. Shit, I fast forward. I right, dude, I'm telling you that dead ass looks good. I bet you it does. Uh, just her coming out in a backwards, you know, hat just oh. pisses me off so much that I refuse to watch it. She had a hat on. Are you? Did she? I don't know. She comes out with a fucking hat all the time. It looks like a moron. It's like, lady, you're like 32, 33. You can stop sporting fucking backwards baseball hats like your husband or whatever. I didn't even know she had a face. I thought she was just ass and tits. Really? Damn. Well, I'm I'm enlightening you now, man. Damn. Sir Boxman, you have been enlightened. I have been, man. Jesus. Yeah, there you go, man. This is what I do, man. I spit facts, dude. I share go. facts with folks. <laughs> Nikki Bella indeed has a face, Boxman. She does yeah. have a face. All right. Uh, well, hell, I'm 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 learning things here tonight. But uh, well, that's good. That's good. That's yeah, good. we'll go ahead and go to the uh, bad news, Barrett and Dean Ambrose match. Yeah. Um. Dude, I'm really disappointed in what they're doing with Ambrose. You. I don't know about you, but uh -huh. this, fuck, man. I am. God, I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I know some guys have to kind of sit out and, and, and bench it for a while when it comes to WrestleMania. But this guy was carrying the company with Rollins when Reigns was out, when Daniel Bryan was out. What are you doing with him? He doesn't need the IC title, you know? And it's not even the IC title because, let's face it, Rusev has the U.S. title, which which means less than the IC title. But Rusev, Rusev has a bigger and more important position on, on the card. As far as Ambrose, he's just kind of just going downhill, man. Yeah, it's – I don't know what they're doing. It's on a decline. I don't know what they're doing with the poor guy. But uh, man, he's well, well, did you Did you like this match? Uh, the match itself, yeah. I thought the ending was a little – and again, I understand this is all to set up WrestleMania. Don't start fucking sending me emails and I'm an asshole. Um, I, even though I, I am. But anyway. Um, Folks, I, send, send, him, send him an email saying that he's an asshole. You can send me an email saying I'm insane. That's fine. I, I don't care. Asshole, insane, whatever you want. That's fine. Yeah, have fun with it. Yeah, go ahead. So, uh... But I don't know. I I I I did like the match itself. I mean, these uh, I'm not huge on Wade Barrett, but the, he's not bad in the ring. He's fine. But Ambrose, I just think the guy deserves better than what he's doing. I mean, you got Roman Reigns being pushed like a motherfucker. With yeah. with you know probably shouldn't be. You got Rollins who's. I'm going to admit, Rollins is badass. I'm loving Rollins. Everything he's doing is great right now. And whoa, 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 whoa. I'm sorry. I, now I'm hold on it. a goddamn I'm minute, I'm liking sir. Rollins. What do you want me to do? Dick Rollins, man. Now hold on a minute, oh, Boxman. You don't love on. everything he's been doing. Jesus I mean, Christ. The, no. Stop I mean, yourself for your own sake, Boxman. I mean in the WWE. Oh, uh, okay, okay. I'm sorry. Well, you said everything he's been doing. I mean, he's done some <laughs> dickish things. Pun intended. <laughs> Pun intended. <laughs> so I don't know if you like that. But. No, no. I mean, in the WWE, all the stuff he's doing, he pulls it off great. I love it. Yeah, but, uh, it's 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 fair to mention for the sake of our podcast. You did you did click on the picture. I mean, just for the sake of our podcast. I, dude, I did that for the podcast. I told thank you that. You. And I we clicked on that picture for the podcast. Okay. And we thank you. We are podcast professionals, my friend. My friend. Professionals. Prof Professionals, and we will act professionally. Harumph. There you go. Harumph, um, harumph. Before we get off this uh, Ambrose match, I that was a beautiful clothesline by Ambrose. Oh yeah. See that? That was fucking awesome. I thought that was the best part of the match. Textbook, bitch. Yeah, it was awesome, dude. By the way, did you catch the commentary at the end? They didn't even know what happened. Dude, I I, I really completely blank out of the commentary. I cannot listen to it. I'm sorry. I no, try they, not they to. They didn't even know what happened. They were confused. I... 
that doesn't oh, surprise me that? one bit. Was but... that the end of the match? Was that a no DQ? Did someone get pinned? What the fuck <laughs> happened? Oh my god. Well, you know uh, what? Technically, they're not supposed to know the ending of the match. Right, but it just sounded legitimately. But to fused. make it sound like you really don't know the ending of the match is probably not good. You're right. Yeah. But no, I did not catch it. Um, I, I, dude, honestly, I maybe it's from watching so much TNA, but I block out the commentary as much as possible. Yeah. It could be from watching TNA. It could be. Even though the TNA commentary is actually better now. But. Uh, I can't comment on that because I haven't been watching it, but probably. This week was another good show. I think I, I, I like what they're doing, even though I, I wasn't too down on what they were doing before. Uh, I don't know. We, we don't need to get into TNA since you didn't watch it. But, um. Well, you know, let's, let's. Briefly note. Th- let's let's note this. Uh, Samoa Joe apparently is going back to Ring of Honor. I did post that. Looks like he's got dates and everything. If you would like me to pull that up, I can do that, man. I am. Well, we on. don't. We don't. We don't need the dates and everything. Which you know, no, crazy just talk about. Get the story and give a little bit. Of the, yeah, if you go there, he is, and there's a hype video and everything showing him coming back. So. You know, I, it, it was suspected he was going to go to uh, either there or uh, probably, new, you know, New Japan or something. Yeah. Yeah. I think he'll be, he'll fit in at Ring of Honor, and it's probably the best place to go. I mean, Ring of Honor seems like WWE's picking grounds right now, so might not be a bad idea for him to go there. Yeah, well, that was that was his uh, stomping ground, so exactly, and he started there anyway. So yeah, I mean, yeah. Styles was there. Now he's at you know New Japan, and so yeah, it's uh, let's see, Joe's last appearance. Actually, Joe's last appearance was in two thousand eight against um, Tyler Black. Now known nice. as Seth Rollins. So damn, I haven't seen that match, man. I would I would actually love to see that. Yeah, now I'm looking to see. Let's see, last appearance. Yeah, two thousand eight. Samoa Joe versus Seth Rollins versus the current Seth Rollins. So yeah, nice. man, probably be damn good. Um, well, hopefully he'll be at uh, House of Hardcore. There's rumors that he will be. Well, who's st- is there actual rumors? Yeah, I did read some the other day that that uh, said something about that. Nice. Nice. I was just fucking around when I said it. No, I, 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 <laughs> I, I could, no, I, I did read a, a, I read something the other day about that. Honestly, I did. Yeah, I know. We were talking about it last week. I said he's probably going to be at a house of hardcore. I, I would I was, doubt it at this point. I mean, yeah, Dreamer would be a moron not to, not to try at least. Yeah, I mean, Dreamer's, you know, he's a, he's a smart guy. He's a good mind for the business. Okay. He is. I'm not, I'm not denying it. Nah, man. Look at it. Seven House of Hardcore is not a bad show. Yeah. yeah. He, shit, he was booking ECW. I know. Yeah, you're right. He was. And that was always good. He was helping out with uh, WWE. Dub. He's, he's, he's been there, man. TNA. He's, he's been everywhere. Poor TNA. Cursed. But, uh... yeah. yeah. No one can save them. Oh, Honestly, the only person that I can see... Like... I would love for you to argue me on this because I don't see anybody else being able to save TNA other than like Vince, of course. You know, the only person that can save TNA is Paul Heyman. If they give Paul Heyman the, the ball and he promotes it because he, he has a big following and he promotes it and he does his own thing, whether it's, you know, half martial arts, half like, you know, shoot shit and half wrestling – or you know, an old ECW comeback or whatever it is, which I doubt he would do. I don't. He doesn't live in the past. He likes to move forward with things. So, yeah. I think that would actually work. What do you think? I I I thought you were gonna say John Cena. Oh Jesus! Oh Jesus! I'm kidding. I'm joking. Oh God, damn, dude! Like the Freebird comment. I was joking. It was a joke. Oh, <laughs> Jesus, John Cena. Oh, shit, fucking... John Cena. Imagine John Cena trying to save TNA. That was funny when I said that to Angel. He's like, God damn it, no, man. I'm kidding. Yeah. 
fucking free birds. Uh, I had to say, I don't know where I just had to say it. The Baldies should do the do the trio tournament for like Chikara. They always bring like the three man tags. Oh, there you that'd go. That'd be cool. Yeah, that'd be cool. I'd love to see that. There you go. Yeah. So, What's next, my man? Next, Bray Wyatt did a little uh, Undertaker promo where he actually finally mentioned his name. Yeah, um, I think it's worth mentioning that uh, apparently, like Undertaker's not coming back. Until the actual WrestleMania event. That's the rumor. Um, yeah, it's also which... worth mentioning that Adam Rose was was one of those druids. Oh God, man! I just thought, yeah, actually that's good. Yeah, keep I, him like. I that. thought I would mention that. Yeah, keep um, him like. Yeah, but the plan is to keep Undertaker off of TV. Um, I'm not sure if that's so we don't know that he looks the way he does or what, but. Man, that's going to kind of... So, Bray is going to just keep cutting these promos every week and with no response? That's... That's... Yeah, it's yeah. it's it's weird, but I think they're doing it more for the reason that they don't... They kind of want to build this suspense, like, is he going to show up? And I mean, but let's face it, it's 2015. We know he's going to show up. Oh, yeah. But that's what they're trying to do. I don't think it's... Uh, well, I guess it could be all for, for his looks, because he does look healthy now. Which is good. Yeah. I mean, I posted that picture. He looked much healthier than he did. Yes. I after did. after the last WrestleMania, because he looked, you know, he looked terrible. Yeah. True. True. See, the thing yeah. with the thing with Taker is he didn't look like he aged at all when he was wrestling, and he was like fine. And then during the last like three years, he's aged like a dog. Oh yeah. Yeah. You know. Yeah, you can tell. I'm telling you, man, he's aging like a dog right now. Hmm. But uh, that's it, man. Let's go back to Fast Lane. What was the next matchup? Fast Lane after next the... match. Um, oh, you know what? I want to mention. Okay. What's that? I was, I was talking. Like I said, there's a couple wrestling fans at work, at uh, at work, and I was talking to one of them today. He's actually the uh, he's my operations manager, and he's talking, and he said he had a weird dream that he was watching WrestleMania and he also said that he knows how lame he is for having this dream. He's at WrestleMania. Bray Wyatt wins. Suddenly the lights go down. Undertaker's soul rises from his body and goes into Bray Wyatt and he is the new Undertaker. I don't, that, that could, that's creative. I mean, I'm sure they could pull it off with like, you know, Technology and all that stuff is creative. Certainly. Funny thing is, I looked at him and I went, you know what? That is tot. After the hologram, I'll believe anything you fucking say. Um, uh, yeah. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me. It would not surprise me. And you but, know what? It's not a bad idea. It's not. It's, it's not. not. If they want to, if they want to pass the torch another time without like the streak on the line, that is kind of the only way. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he other was, than uh, having Reigns, you know, kind of get that rub from from Lesnar. Oh, uh, yeah, but yeah, I just I he, he, he tonight, and I I I really, the more he talked about it, I was like, you know what, I could see them doing this. The lights go out; it goes animated for a minute. Next thing you know, you see the soul rise. Yeah, I could see that, man. I could see that'd be man. interesting. I can see it. I think it would be pretty badass, actually. I, I don't think it's going to happen, though, because I'm pretty sure Taker's going to go over. Really? Yeah, definitely. Really? Definitely. You think? Yeah. I think I think they kind of have regrets about the whole Lesnar thing. I don't think they do, and I also think that... Nice. I Nuts. don't know about that, because... Um, I don't know. I could see them giving a big rub to Bray with this. I don't know, man. I think they're kind of trying to, you know, revive the Undertaker again because they kind of killed it last year. But why? If 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 he's not going to be there much longer, why bother? Why? Oh, I don't think it's I don't think it's his last WrestleMania. I think he's going to have another one with Sting next year. And I'm guessing they're probably going to plan on having another one after that where you give somebody else the rub, and that's his go-away. 
See, I think Sting should be his final, but you're right. He can't do that because he should give someone a big rub. Yeah. We don't so it know. makes sense to keep him strong for Sting and somebody else, but I don't, I don't know, man. It really I... depends on his physical condition. Like, if he can still go another couple of years, if he can kind of you know, foresee the future, I guess, and see, you know, what kind of shape he's going to be in a few years, Um, I guess it's safe to have him win and kind of protect the protect the gimmick a bit more. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm still going to stick to, to take or winning. Which I like though. I like I like being on on opposite sides as far right. as uh, when it comes to mania, it makes it more interesting. Yeah, I because we usually know, agree, man. and you know, agreeing on a show is not necessarily the well, most entertaining. No, but yeah, I I I don't know. We'll we'll we'll, we'll get more into it, but uh... yes, sir. We'll talk to about we'll talk about it as the weeks go on. As the but, weeks uh, go on, now I guess we have to go back to fast lane. God damn. All right. Yes, we do. Back to fast lane. Whoa. Bam. We're goes. back. Holy yeah. shit. All what right. the fuck was that? We're on a time machine or something? Wait. It's all right. I don't, I don't, I don't remember stepping into a hot tub. No. <laughs> fuck. God, that looks horrible. Yeah. Anyway. The first one was kind of funny, but it was it was so was cheesy. It, it was, was like an 80s movie done in 2012 or whatever. Yeah, but I like cheesy movies. I mean, dude. So I was, do I. No, I was I watching like Rollerball the other night. I don't know about that. The new one, the well, the, there is the, the one with James Caan is actually great, but this one—I I totally forgot Heyman was in that movie. Yeah, I saw you. Uh, I saw you post. Yeah, that I posted out. that, and then Shane, o, and then Shane O'Mac comes with with a quick cameo, and I was like, I forgot fucking he was in this movie. Jesus Christ! I don't. I don't recall any of that. I don't even know if I've ever seen the movie. Oh, it's got uh, Chris Klein from um, American Pie, Oz. Oh, okay. And uh, LL Cool J's in it, and Re- uh, Rebecca Romaine, Rebecca Romaine in it too. It's it's it's. I don't know. I there's a lot of bad movies I like. Nice. No, um, well, same. But I toxic uh, toxic Avenger for one. That, that that's not a bad movie. Don't say. But it it's is. it is a bad movie. That's good. You can't, dude. You can't tell me this is a good fucking movie. <laughs> well, Come on, man. <laughs> I kidding, could. Dude? I mean, you could, but you you be wrong all right it was fun it was a fun movie yeah, it's a fun movie it's it's one of those b horror movies it's like cheesy yeah. as shit it's yeah. just so bad it's good you know all right there you go i'll give you that you one. know it's bad man all right if you want to say it's bad i'll say it's bad god damn it. all right anyway like nukem high i never seen it it's like another bad good movie jawbreaker I don't remember. <laughs> All right. Oh, I thought you were saying a movie. <laughs> it is a movie. It's, is it? I don't know. It is a movie, yeah. It's I got... don't know. All right. Let's get back, let's get back to fucking yeah. Fastlane. <laughs> we're back at Fastlane. There again. we go. U.S. Championship, Rusev, John Cena. Jesus. I, I, I got to say, this wasn't a bad match, dude. You can't say yeah, it was but, a bad match. No, I can't, but I just hate the fact that, that he never gives up. I know. And it wasn't a bad match, don't get me wrong. I'm not no. gonna I'm not gonna entertain that idea at all that it was a bad match, but it was okay. it just I hate the fact that this guy can't give up on Raw. They say it a thousand times. He never gave up. Like fuck man, I know. I know. Uh, I get it. I know. The guy doesn't give up. He stands for every right humanly possible i get it man nah, guy's yeah. still probably a douchebag in real life Fuck. yeah but uh yeah i i really didn't think this was a bad match uh i don't know i thought it was a good match i ex- i expected the ending if you didn't come on right come on man yeah that right. expected well we we predicted it like we kind of did uh well i personally thought there was going to be some sort of uh as you would say fuck finish well apparently as a lot of people would say now i'm i'm crediting you sir fuck finishes so i really thought that's what was going to happen um i thought they were going to keep them both strong but they uh they gave it a submission i don't know how many times i've seen so cena even pass out to a submission 
Well, according to them, he he still never gave up, which he didn't. But well, Jesus, that is when it's your catchphrase, you have to, you know, shoehorn it in. Fuck possible. that catchphrase, man! Fuck that catchphrase, please, <laughs> all right, all right, please. All right. Seth Rollins, pull your dick out one more time. And fuck <laughs> that catchphrase. Take oh, one of those towels, those never give up towels, and jerk off into it. Fuck oh, that shit, man. Poor Seth Rollins. All right. Poor us for having to watch John Cena never give up. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But like I said, I did not mind the the uh, the match. I thought it was a pretty good match. I actually enjoyed it. Yeah, that's good. Man. I'm sorry, but I enjoyed it. But now, if you have nothing more to say about that match, do you? Absolutely not. Then we can get into. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the main event. The main event. The Roman main event. Roman Reigns. Daniel Bryan. Yeah. Uh, hands down, Roman Reigns' best best performance ever. Abs- definitely. Ever. I, ever, I even, ever, I even ever, had ever. a post-it. I even had a post-it because I was impressed. Yeah. I was. I was very impressed. He did. Now, he is in the ring with Daniel Bryan. Who That's true. I don't think I've ever seen a bad Daniel Bryan match. I'm trying to think. No, I haven't. So that could be it. Um, but it was definitely his best match. I'll give him some credit. I'll give him a little bit of credit because uh, why not? But, um, again, expected finish. You had to realize it was going to happen. I know a lot of people were pissed. Bryan should have won. This should be the way it it's not so deal with it go fuck yourselves dude i gave up on that that's that's done and over with not even giving up on it you got to realize what they're going to do with this guy he's he he's i don't know it's no hold hold on box right now keep in mind you know roman reigns going over lesnar doesn't necessarily mean he's going to hold on to that belt much longer no because most likely you're going to get a cash in within the next two minutes so, I mean, let's, you know, kind of just, just well, <laughs> chill out and hang on for a second because that's – if you're going to be mad at anything, you should be mad at the fact that, you know, Seth Rollins is, 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 is going to get the title instead well, of Brian. Tr- Dude, is one of your dogs snoring? He is. Can you hear I that? I can hear it. I can hear Holy it. Holy shit. Well, go Skype. Damn. Um, yeah, this is, so- well, go this mic. This mic is like – That mic is awesome. You need to Holy get a little – shit. You need to I feel get like I'm little... in a studio, man. I got these studio headphones, a studio microphone. There you go. You need to get a little uh, 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 pop screen like I got. Yeah, I actually have one. Oh, okay. Pop it on there one day, and it'll 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 help filter out those noises. Yes, sir. But, Doggy, um, stop snoring, man. There you we're, go. We're, we're we're professionals. We're doing a podcast here. We're at the studio. I, I mean, uh, we're at the studio. We're so professional. No dog here. Come on, no. Fox. Man. What are so you talking about? We're, we're so professional. I just forgot what I was talking about. What the fuck are you talking about? There's no dog here. I don't know. I forgot. Actually, honestly, I forgot Jesus what I was talking Christ. about. This is this is what I get for driving an hour and a half to the studio <laughs> to record this professionally. And then I get this guy saying there's a dog snoring in the back. What dog, dude? I'm paying $45 an hour to record this podcast. <laughs> what are you talking about, man? Yeah, there you go. You know what? Next week I'm gonna I'm gonna start broadcasting from my home. You know what? That's right. box man. You can do That's... that from Mixler, man. You can do it from Mixler. <laughs> that that you can't. Mixler, go ahead and uh, go ahead and fucking promote us, man. Mixler is badass, guys. We're gonna have the chat. You can listen to us right in the chat. Uh, Mixler.com/slash/tht podcast. You can't get any easier. Yeah. Absolutely not. We've uh, already got a few people signed up and in the chat. You will have to sign up. You will have to confirm an email. But once you're in, there's Mixler is kind of like a uh, Stitcher. There's a lot more podcasts on there. So maybe you'll find a podcast you didn't know about and uh, be able to get it. So, Dude, it's like a basically it's like a social network for for podcasts. For podcasts, exactly. And so it's awesome. You can yeah. you can you can listen to us right on Facebook. Right on Twitter, right where the link is. You don't have to go to any other websites. Um, yeah, like he said, you can listen to it in the chat room. It's good stuff, man. And there's a really nice. Uh, we'll 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 post it on the website too. That you there's a really nice embeddable player 
um, that uh, you'll be able to listen to right on the website as usual. So it's, uh, you're not really changing much, but uh, if you do want to come in the chat room, mixer.com slash THD podcast, sign up. And uh, I, I don't know. I think it's very good looking. So we're having a good time. Got some people in the chat room already. Yes, sir. We're on a roll, man. Got the, got the new website up. Got a new logo. Got a new theme. Got, got wrestling sites. Got two new going. themes. Yeah, got two new themes. Yeah. Had three nice interviews within two weeks. Hell got yeah. some, uh, got some stories on, on, on the internet going on. It's nice, man. And, uh, yeah, also working on some other stuff, man. Can't really talk about it yet, but in the next couple of weeks, hopefully, we'll have some uh, some new guests and some other ventures that, w- that we're getting into that's that's interesting. Yeah, we'll wait to announce all that till it actually pans a- out. So, absolutely. Yeah, man. So, yeah. So, yeah, we will be, uh, we will be live on Mixler.com slash THT podcast next week. Um probably keep the stream because i still have another couple weeks so we'll go ahead and run from both for two weeks and then we'll uh we'll convert everyone to mixler now you sound like you're about to end the show no No. not at all (laughs) we still got uh shit to talk about oh we got we got plenty still jesus christ we got we got to kind of speed this up uh i got school um but uh yeah man dude i'm i'm fine with 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 what they're gonna actually i no I take that back. I can't. I can't even force myself to say that. I'm sorry. I was gonna try to speed it up and not not argue the fact that, and, and I'm saying the fact because it's it's almost a fact. It's gonna happen. I, I was gonna say I'm okay with Cena going over Rusev at Mania, but I'm not. I'm absolutely not. What do you What do you think about this, man? Because I just I feel like you've you've built this guy up for what about a year now. Well, I would say. Here, here's here's my theory. Cena just was in a match for the U.S. title. Right. It does look like they're putting him, and I'm not going to say they're dropping him to mid-card, but it looks like they're kind of trying to see if anyone else can take his spot. I'm not so sure, again, I'm again another match, I'm not sure Rusev is going to lose. I ex- uh... let, me put, let me put it this way. I expect him to lose, but I'm not so sure it's going to happen. That, that, would, that would definitely be interesting. If, if, if Rusev gets that big Cena rub at WrestleMania, that I, would be awesome. That I can see very big, just at the way they've been booking Cena lately. If, you know, um, I mean, hell, the guy lost, what, three matches in a row to Brock Lesnar? It, is it going to hurt to have him lose another match against Rusev at this point? But no. you know what? He's he's he is going to lose. Like I said, he is, I expect dude. It. They've brought America into this. Oh, you're right. He's well, going to lose. There's they, no way. They no bring way. America in every feud of his. But yeah, I know. But they they can do that with Jack Swagger and have Russia go over America at SummerSlam. Remember that? I know, but the thing is... They can do that with Swagger, but it's not going to work with Cena at WrestleMania, have the Russian flag come. It's not going to happen, dude. But you see, the thing with Cena is you can always build off of him losing. Every time he loses, they build him up even more. So what they would do is this: they would use it as a thing to build him up even more. And, you know, it it, it wouldn't go the way you wanted it to. Oh, Cena, that's it. He's done. No, it's they're going to use it to build him up. I definitely can see Rusev winning... And getting the rub from Cena at but, WrestleMania, li- right? But listen, if 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 they do that, ultimately he has to lose to Cena again. No, I could see Cena winning the final blow off. Exactly, that would end the streak. I just don't want Cena to end the streak. Oh, I definitely agree. Well, I don't think not. that's you that's not know. logical, dude. It's it's. I agree. I agree. Cena, it definitely shouldn't be him. If dude, he you... wins at Mania, I think it would actually be bad. I really think the 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 smart the, the 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 best for business way is to put Rusev over at Mania. Yeah. Dude, I'm telling you, they should save Rusev's uh you know, losing a streak. They should save that for somebody coming up from NXT. That makes sense. Kevin Owens, have him beat Rusev. That'd be perfect. 
Yeah, I said that a couple weeks ago, dude. It makes perfect sense. Have him beat Rusev. They're about the same size. Have him beat Rusev. Yeah. But yeah. even though, I mean, he's not American. He's Canadian. But who gives a shit? It doesn't matter. Oh, Have him beat Rusev in Canada. Debut him in Canada. Please, if, if Adam Rose was out there, they'd be chanting USA. Fucking sheep. And yeah. <laughs> But uh, anyway, yeah, I don't know, man. I just, Ooh, I just don't think. <laughs> I don't think you should build this guy up for a year and feed him all these guys, and then just, just give it back to Cena again. It's, 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 it's going backwards again, you know. Uh, yeah, I agree. It's not efficient at all, man. It's just yeah. they, they're not, no. they're not doing their job as writers. All twenty six of them. Yeah, yeah, but I, I, I definitely think the best for business is to go and put Rusev over. And, you know, whatever. Like you said, that'd be a great way to do it is have someone come in like that and just beat the shit out of them. Boom. Instant over. Yeah. Dude, Instant. keep it going for another year. Yeah. Why not? Keep it going for another year. Have this guy beat everybody. Go to the next Mania. Have Kevin Owens debut the, the Raw after next Mania and beat him. Yeah. Well, we'll see what happens. I don't know. Um I'm going to have a bit of faith in the WWE that they'll do the right thing, but uh, probably not the smartest thing for me to do. No, it's not. It's <laughs> certainly not the smartest thing to do. But I'll tell you what, since we're on the, on the topic of Roman Reigns against uh, Daniel Bryan, um, I fell asleep through this match, and I woke up to the part where he was elbowing him in the face, and that's Roman Reigns elbowing yeah. uh, Daniel Bryan. Dude, that looked brutal. I, I, I instantly woke up. I was like, oh, shit. That did look Roman, a that's brutal. Roman Reigns? That's Reigns? It really? Did. It did look kind of brutal. But yeah, it's good. I don't know. Brian came right back and dealt with it. So, yeah, well, I was, I was, I was fine with this until, and I guess we're finished. Do you have anything else you want to say about uh, Fastlane? I'm, I'm, no, I'm done. All right, so let's speed on to Raw. I'll right. speed up to Raw. All right, so um, that means I can get rid of this sound. This. Fast lane sound effect. Awesome. There you go. <laughs> now we have sped up. <laughs> I was only keeping it for fast lane. Dude, keep it around. There'll be a next. There'll be another one next year. Um, I'll then I'll download it again. Who gives a fuck? Hopefully there won't be another fast lane the, next year. It's in the uh, the soundboard file. Don't worry. All right. All right. Well, raw, raw, raw. well I was saying that to segue into this. Um. Okay. I was fine with Roman Reigns winning and going over Brian. That's fine. The match was phenomenal. A lot of people were crediting Brian completely to the whole match. That's bullshit. As much as you guys know, I'm not the biggest Roman Reigns fan. But give credit when it's due, man. The guy, he was good in the ring. He was good. He, he, he held his own. Yep. He did his job. He's improving. He wasn't the greatest on Raw on the mic against, against uh, Paul Heyman. But, uh, you know, he's trying. Mm -hmm. I mean, I got to credit a guy for I mean, you can tell, man, he's he's a little bit nervous. I, that's why I say he's not ready. He's not ready. And I don't want to come off like I'm some fucking, like, booker. Like, I don't know. I don't, I'd never work for a fucking wrestling company. I'm just stating my opinion. That's what we're doing on the show. So, you know, don't. I don't want to come off like a douchebag. Like, I know everything. But that's my opinion. I just think the guy's not ready. The guy looks nervous when the crowd starts saying what. I don't know if you noticed that. I, I fucking, I look at everything on under the microscope when I'm watching it. Mm -hmm. That shit, man. When they were when they were doing the what chance, it was throwing him off. Right. If if he's going over a mania, that shouldn't throw him off. You know, it's little things like this, man. You don't want to have this guy represent and 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 you know representing your company in that in that fashion. And and you got this guy on, you know, Sam Roberts podcast just coming off like a complete dick. You know, just say, oh, well, fans don't like me. It doesn't really matter to me. I'm getting rich either way. Like, oh, that's that's cool, dude. All right, well, you, do you know the wrestling demographic? Like, not to shit on anybody, but, you know, they're, not everybody's millionaires. You no. know, you, you saying that, that's not very John Cena-like. If that's the next Cena, that's, <laughs> that's not very John Cena-like. They'll school them. Don't worry about they, it. They, be they better start soon. I hope actually they don't because I like the edgy, but I just, you know, I just don't think the guy's ready as far as handling that crowd heat and He's... being able to improv on the spot as far as, you know, reaction to the crowd and 
I, I don't know. He looked at, he looked very winded in the match. I mean, again, credit where it's due, great match, but it looked like he was winded. It looked like he was about to die. I think if he could heal up, I think as a heal, he's going to be better. I think if he could heal up on the audience, he might be better. Oh, yeah. I think he would be a, an awesome heel because, you know, let's face it. He's, he's a good-looking guy. The, the guys would hate this guy, you know? Yeah. It's, it's the perfect thing to do for a heel. And the people already don't like him. Right. So, what are you doing? I don't know. <laughs> and, like, honestly, what are you doing? I don't get it. What are you doing? Why? It's just none of this shit know. makes sense. And I think I, I think they do this just to fuck with people. Like, I, just, it has to be the reason. Other than that, it just doesn't make any sense. I don't know, man. I don't know. Like, it has to be like. You know, it has to come back to that that theory of mine that you know whose whose dick is bigger than everybody else's in the room. You know, pull out your fucking rulers. This is the whole thing. They want to shove it down our throats. You know, no pun intended. Um, <laughs> the, definitely no pun intended. But you know, that's how they are, man. They come up with this idea. Okay, Reigns is the next guy. Oh, they don't like it. Fuck them. We own this shit. They're gonna like it. You know, they're gonna like it, pal. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. But uh, God, I don't know, man. I'm I'm not a big fan of what they're doing. Although I'm okay with it, I'm absolutely fine. I actually want to see Lesnar and Reigns. I think that's going to be a good match. Very interesting. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't mind that at all. Only problem I have with it is 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 going to be the 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 talking portion of it because Paul Heyman is gold, and then you got Roman Reigns, and it's just like uh. I don't know, man. <laughs> I mean, that little interaction they had at. The uh, raw that was, you know, kind of oh, weathered sorry. out wasn't bad. So oh, then he's gonna go. He would beat Hulk Hogan and Andre the Giant at the same time oh, in '87. Yeah, that was horrible last night. But you know what? <laughs> before Christ. we get into raw, before we get into raw, I gotta piss. So can we take a quick five? Sure, sure. Let's do it. All right, let's get out of here. We'll be right back, people. All right. Sorry about that, people. I had to piss. Well, I mean, box man, come on. What? We we shoot the shit, man. Tell the people that you pissed yourself. It's all right, man. No, I really. All right, all right. That's f f folks. He pissed himself. It's all right. <laughs> it happens to the best. He was drinking fucking red stripes, dude. I am, and I got two left, and they will get drank before I leave here. Well, just don't piss yourself again, dude. I'm sorry. You're gonna get piss all over your equipment, man. Man, that would really suck if I really did piss myself, cause I got like, I got gray slacks on. That shit would be all over the place. Yeah, that would not be fun. <laughs> no, it wouldn't. I didn't even have time to come home and change from work. <laughs> I came home, made dinner, and left. <laughs> See how dedicated we are, folks? <laughs> Come it. straight out of the office, back to the office. <laughs> I literally, I did, actually. That's exactly what I did. Right. <laughs> I come straight out of school and come straight to the podcast. Yeah, that's it. We got we to gotta get here and get our shit going. Then I'm going right back to school. No, actually, right. I'm going right back to work and then going straight to school. I'm not sure I'm gonna we're supposed to get some snow here tonight, so I don't think I'm gonna get to work tomorrow. Please share the snow. I want I want more snow. Fuck that. I wanna go back to Florida. Well, I wanna just go to Florida, period. I've never been there. My parents are in Florida right now. Nice. Yeah, real nice. Actually they've been stuck there. They were supposed to come back Monday, their flight got cancelled. And then my dad got food poisoning, so they're still stuck there. Jesus. Yeah. Is he all right? Yeah. They got every time they go there, they seem to have problems. My mom's got. My mom had a problem last time. My dad had a problem this time. Would they have Haitian food? I, no, they had a. Actually, it's an ex, it's an expensive restaurant in Florida that they went to, and they go there every time. But uh, he had said he had some lobster. Lobster sauce, and he said, "Oh, I knew it didn't. It didn't smell or taste right, but I was fucking hungry." Oh man, yeah, I don't, I don't. That's why I don't mess with the seafood from outside, man. I can't do it, man. Florida, Fuck that. You figure Florida's fine. I mean, yeah, I guess. Well, most of the seafood in Florida comes from Florida, so right, right. But yeah, he uh, Port of Miami. He got uh, he got food poisoning, so they're still stuck there. Welcome to the port of Miami. We got fish and we got fish scale with cocaine. Yeah. If you find the cocaine, tell somebody. 
I got someone to hear. Hold on one second. I had a Gucci man, man, talking about fish scale and shit, man. We waiting out of cocaine on the fish scale down in Georgia, man. Got my motherfucker gold teeth back, man. We tell Rattlers over here, man. Hot tag podcast and shit. Box, man, how you doing, man? Good, Gucci. I'm 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 finna change my name, though. I'm finna Uh-oh. change my name to Versace, man. Damn. Yo, well, why, why, why would you do that? Well, that's strictly for the for the hot tag podcast. You know, the Gucci man, he do the rap thing, and then I come out here, and then I do the Versace thing. You know, the, the Versace man do the do the wrestling gimmick. You know, I like my wrestling, man. I like to be dedicated to the wrestling thing, so I don't want to bring in my Gucci man shit to the wrestling gimmick. You know, nice. you heard, you heard me, Versace man. There you go. I I I, I like that. Versace, Versace man. I remember being in Florida when Versace was killed. I remember that. Versace was killed. Yeah. Hey uh, man, Andrew, that my boy, man. Andrew, me and Versace, Andrew but I follow Versace on 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 the Twitter thing. Oh, um, that ain't uh, him. Remember Andrew Cunanan? Remember that guy? Man, do I look like I know Andrew Cunanan? Oh, uh, yeah. Come on, man, you talking to Versace, man, baby? Well, the Versace's fuck? dead. Bro, I, I talked to him on Twitter. Oh, well. He got he got a little star on the Twitter thing. That means he official. He's there? No, no, no. A check. I'm looking, bro, I'm looking at my, no, my no, motherfucking. No. A, uh, check, a check means you're official. A star. Yeah, check. Bro. Hey, man. Come, come, come back on your podcast because I'm going to kill this motherfucker over <laughs> here, man. He's going to keep correcting the Gucci man on the air, man. Listen, bro. Um, I gotta check on on the Twitter on the Twitter thing, cause you know what, Gucci man, a motherfucker star, man. That's what I do, man. I got to check on the Twitter, and I got to check on the Twitter when it comes to the to the Versace thing. You know, me and Versace, I'm fin- I'm finna go to Italy tomorrow. Yeah, I, I'm finna I, go to Italy tomorrow. We finna lay back with Versace. I'm oh, finna get shit. some hoes. He finna get some bros. Bro, you, you know, booty raped. That that's that's. Fos- hey, man, that's Fosace you're talking to, bro. That's Fosace. All right. And that's my cue to get up out of here, man. This <laughs> this dude over, I don't know what he talking about. This is bad for my reputation, man. Gucci man, sign now, get my album and shit, man. Coming out of Versace man and everything. The Hot Tag Podcast, bitch. Shout out to you. This guy over here, I don't know what he talking about, man. Bruh. Gucci man, are you? Uh, uh, the booty booty rape, man. I, I, I thought you said. We, I thought no, it was Versace, uh, man. What, 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 Versace, what man. Versace, 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 man. Yeah, if you can't I, remember I, your I, name, fuck you, man. Listen, man. Versace, <laughs> man. We talking about some hoes. You talking about booty hoes, man? I'm talking about big booty hoes. You just talking about booty hoes. Well, yeah. I mean, if you all right. Yeah, I mean, well, go ahead and have fun in Italy and um. Cork, well, you know what? I'm I, cork it. Just I'll I'll dedicate one of them one of them fine Italian. The Italian stallions, I dedicate one of one of them to you when I smash it, just just for the THC podcast. All right, make sure you just, shave, just shave her you. down first. I I'm good. I heard the interview, man. That motherfucker crazy, man. <laughs> Me and him finna sit down, man. We finna we finna we finna do some things, man. But listen, man, you, marinate. He's, marinate he's right. Shit. You got to marinate it for approximately two hours and five <laughs> minutes. <laughs> approximately, exactly. Approximately two hours and five minutes. That's what you do, and then you do your thing. All right. Good, good, good talking to you, Gucci man. Can you get Sheen back? All right. Jesus Christ. Dude, you, you, bro. I, I, I had to take a piss this time. Sorry. I, I. I gotta teach you some fucking Jeet Kune Do to get that motherfucker to quit j- jacking your mic, dude. I, I no, I, I actually I asked him to come in and, and take over for a minute. Man. I just had to take a piss real quick before I piss myself like you. That motherfucker tires me out, man. He's he's wild. Damn. I, I, I got to figure out how he's getting out of jail to do this podcast. I got to figure out his whole, his his breath taken because his teeth doesn't stop talking for five minutes straight. He doesn't take a breath. I don't know. Jesus. Him and Angel, man. Imagine them two on a conversation together. God damn, nobody would get away. You, you, I, I, I just walk away. That'd be lovely. Might have to make that happen. I think Angel's got better stories, but. <laughs> probably, yeah, probably. probably. So this one time I was getting booty raped, right? And uh... <laughs> yeah, Versace <laughs> man is. Versace man be fucked up. <laughs> yeah. By the way, we're talking about Gucci man, not Angel. 
<laughs> yeah, obviously. Yeah. Clarify that for you. Yeah. But, uh, Versace yeah, man. man. Sorry, Versace Man. Versace, Versace Man. Man. Yeah. Um, <laughs> are we getting into Raw? God damn it. Yeah, let's just, let's just quickly just... Raw's not going to take long. Summarize it real quick. Um, we start off... Uh, Orton came back. Yay. So there's, <laughs> so, so, there's, so, there's the first... so there's that. He came back and yeah. All right. You know what? I'm going to say it. I have liked, I love what Randy Orton was doing before he's leaving. Before he left. Sorry. Uh, I really did. I liked those promos he was doing. They were like hyper fucking coked up 80s promos and I liked them. Um. And I kind of like where this is going. So. Now, Boxman, can I cut you off for one second? Absolutely. Can you please not bring up coked up promos? Wow, what happened? Because you you know, fucking Gucci Man is going to pop up, bro. Don't do that, please. Oh, I'm sorry. It's enough for the night, please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I won't mention it again. But yeah, please. He, he, he bleep was, yourself. He was, uh, I think I got rid of the censor beep. Oh, uh, please get it back and bleep yourself. I can do that. So, uh, but yeah, I, I I do like where this is going. Yeah, that I, do <laughs> I like guess it. I'm. Not, I don't really care. I mean, I guess it's going to be a good match though. Rollins and Orton are both uh, really good in the ring, so it's going to be good. Yeah, the fucking the promos should be good, especially if Randy's doing <laughs> up promos. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. No problem. But uh, yeah, he should be good. You know, as 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 long as his promos look, you know, as ever, I'm good with it. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> okay. As long as he's you know in the back. <sighs> right. Yeah. As long as he's in the back. <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. So that happened. You know, they did a little thing with the authority. Blah blah. I'm so tired of the authority. But anyway. Yeah. Please. Um. We're getting to the first match. Once again, Ziggler's pulling the curtain. <laughs> yeah. Ziggler and Wade Barrett. We talked about this match already. We couldn't believe it happened. Don't understand why why Ziggler won. I think the only thing worth uh, mentioning out of this match is uh, Dean Ambrose kind of, you know, <laughs> bumping shoulders with uh, Ziggler, which kind of makes me think this is going to be a three-way for Mania. Could be, but God damn, Ambrose was good. I, I, I love he was. So I was laughing my ass off when he walked out there. Dude. Yeah, he's great, man. Ambrose is gold. He that's that's off. why I get so pissed off when they just put him in these I know. fucking mid card shit. He's he pulls off any shit. He he kind of he's he's kind of got a you know, reminds me of Eric Young a little bit. Just pulls off anything they give any shit they give to him. He makes it at least entertaining. Please, please. Oh, I said a little don't, bit. Don't don't do that. I said a little bit. A little bit. Putting Dean Ambrose in. And, uh, I, I I meant in the way they could both take shit and turn it into, you know, chicken shit, chicken salad. <laughs> take regular shit and turn it into chicken shit. You know, they can, they can make something that shouldn't be good, good. No, that's 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 Ambrose. He can take chicken shit and turn it into chicken salad. Right. Eric Young just takes shit and turns it into chicken shit. That's just mean. <laughs> just spitting facts, dude. <laughs> Anyway, I thought, yeah, I thought that's what we do. We just we spit facts. That's it. All right. Well, by the way, can you hear that Facebook popping up thing? Every now and then. Yeah, God every... damn it! I I made a post in uh, defend deathmatch wrestling. Shout out to them because they always let us plug our shit on there. Nice. Um, but yeah, I I made a post on there and people are commenting and it fucking makes noise. So I apologize in advance. No, what I can hear most is that goddamn dog snoring. Well, that's that's not too bad. Hey, move, doggy. Come on. <laughs> I'm gonna try to wake him up so you can at least stop snoring for five minutes. Poor puppy dog. That's a tired dog. But that is a tired dog. All right, no big deal. No big deal. But uh, let's see. Where are we next? Where are we next? Where are we next? Backstage. Hopefully segment. the end. No, not yet. Backstage segment with the authority. We don't need to talk about. That. Yeah, well, fuck all that shit. Yeah. Man. Um. Prime time players versus the Ascension. We kind of got into that already. If you want to skip it, yeah. Just I just want to say Darren Young came out dancing like a moron, and Titus O'Neil did not help that. <laughs> I, just, I don't know, man. Are they, do you want to honestly? You put over the Ascension over the New Age Outlaws. You put them over 
fucking job guys and and who else did they get a win over? Dude. I guess uh, Miz Dow and, and Miz. Dude, they tried, they tried. These guys are not gonna get over. They yeah, tried. but why not give that rub to like Cesaro and you know? I guess it's not even much of a They're rub. The, the only. Yeah, I know, but I mean, like, have them go for the belts maybe after Mania, and then you know Cesaro and them win, and they beat the, their little fucking three month streak. Yeah. But having prime time, I mean, prime time players, they're clearly not gonna do anything. Yeah, I know. What are they doing, dude? They're they're just giving Darren Young a two month push just to know. shut him up, and you know, then he'll know, be man. fired. And I'm telling you, dude. Every interview I hear when someone's asked about Titus O'Neil, they put this guy over like he's the next Hogan. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. He must have a gun to their head. I don't know. It, I don't get it, but if you listen, I mean, I've even heard fucking, I've even heard Stone Cold put the guy over as he's all great, he's got great charisma, he's just he's got all the tools and. I'm like, what the fuck are you guys watching that I'm not? I want to ask him one day. What what do you see in him that I I see danger when I watch him wrestle? Yeah, he's not very good. No, I I don't see it, but everyone seems to see something that I don't. So, good well, I, guess, I mean, I guess you know, definitely trust their word more than us. They're wrestlers, but uh, I I don't see it either. Yeah, I mean, I I I guess there's something that we're missing. So, whatever. Um. Anyway, you you got any more to say on that match? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Okay. Well, then uh, we get uh, Roman Reigns has a message for anyone who doubted him. Oh yeah. This oh, is this yeah. is the portion where I had a problem with it. Yeah. Um. Here was my problem with this. If if I can just get right into it. Brian comes out. And puts over Reigns. I was okay with that. I didn't have a problem with that. Problem was, you bring Heyman out there, and it was transparent what was about to happen. Heyman was about to put over Roman Reigns, and I swear to God, this crowd saw through it in seconds. Yeah. I saw through it in seconds. Everyone watching saw through it in seconds. Yeah. I totally knew where the promo was going every time he kept saying, I'd put my money up on you against any man. Heyman is great, don't get me wrong, but this was a very transparent promo in my opinion. Yeah, I mean, like I said, man, the buildup for, for that main match is not going to be the most interesting. I think the the, the best buildup is probably going to be Sting and uh, Triple H. I would say Taker and Bray certainly would have the best one since... Both of them are kind of, you know, they're they're really good on the mic, right? So it, it it would it would be entertaining, but supposedly Taker is not coming back until the actual main event, so that's probably not going to be happening. So yeah, <laughs> Triple H and Sting it is. Exactly, Triple H and Sting it is. So. Yeah, but so. um, I really. I don't know, man. This 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 whole thing just like I said, I had no problem with Brian coming out and doing what he did, but then Heyman came out and it just became a transparent. Okay, they're trying to get this guy over again. That's what they're doing, and now they're using Heyman to do it, which is not good. But I don't know. I mean, it wasn't the worst thing I've seen on Raw, but I really didn't appreciate it or like. Well, you it. you skipped the worst part. Oh, oh God! What was the worst part? Jesus, the the, the portion that killed me, man. Uh, I like I said earlier, I was completely fine with Brian losing to Roman Reigns. What I'm not fine with is the following night this guy coming out and co-signing him again after shaking his hand. Like this is this is the Cena shit that they do, you know? Like I don't. Oh yeah. I don't want to see that already with this guy because that's the type of shit that makes me dislike a guy. It's like too. They're they're pushing them way too fast, and they're kind of leaving you no option. But, you know, you have to like this guy. Look at him. He, your favorite is cosigning the guy. The guy everyone chanting is, is, you know, he's out there cosigning this guy and hugging him and shaking hands and kissing his ass and shit. It's like, all right, man. He won. He got that rub. That's fine. I get it. He's the chosen one. He's getting better. 
willing to give it a chance, have nothing against the guy so far. He's absolutely fine. But then they overdo it, you know? And then after that, they come with Heyman. And then it's like, oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, uh, I, I, as soon as Heyman came out and started talking, I was like, oh, God, this is just going to be... I mean, I, I know he went into, well, they're all men and you can't beat... You can beat men, but you can't beat a beast. Yeah. If you didn't see that coming... You're right. probably eight years old, which right. is fine. I got no problem with that. But well, you shouldn't be listening to this if you're eight. <laughs> God, I hope not. After, after yeah, this. please. If you're eight, please stop listening to this. No, we have an explicit. You should be eighteen. Yeah, if you're eight, do do the world a favor and and stop listening to this. <laughs> yeah, Jesus. exactly. Um, you know the weird thing is it wouldn't surprise me because there's so many like young kids. That are like you know I'm I'm doing air quotes like smarky now. Oh yeah. So you catch these like 10, 11 year olds on Twitter like talking shit to like Triple H and stuff. <laughs> like what the fuck? Like Jesus man, go do some homework or something. Jesus. I gotta tell you man, my six year old son gets on his Wii and stuff, and and I'm just I'm amazed that he that he can. It's amazing what these fucking kids can do, man. Yeah, the generation. I mean, you're, my kid, you're, yeah. you're watching an evolution yeah, before your my, eyes. My, my kid will get on my computer now and do stuff, and I'm like, God damn. I know I sound old. I know plenty about computers, but I'm amazed at the fact that he knows a lot about computers already. It's great. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's definitely interesting to see, like, a, you know, like an evolution in technology and how everyone kind of adapts to it, especially the younger generation, me included, you know. I'm, I'm not, like, old or anything, so. Yeah, I'm way older than you, so. I wouldn't say that much older, right? Um. A good amount older than you. It's all the same shit, bro. I, after like twenty five, it's like, blah. Oh, trust me, I'm, I'll be forty next year. I'll it be, gets worse. I'll be forty next year. I'll let you know. Oh, I'll be forty this year. Excuse me. I'll let you know. And I'll let you know in. Uh, let's see. What is it? Let's see. Uh, six months. Yeah, I'll let you know uh, how I feel when I'm twenty eight in three months. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man! I, I feel old as shit. Though. I'm like a, I'm like an old spirit in a new body, you know. <laughs> oh, you got no clue. Yes, it gets worse. Uh, you're gonna well, feel much older. Well, uh, thanks for shitting on my dreams. No problem. <laughs> I, thought, man. I thought it got better, man. No man. problem. Oh yeah. Well, you never know. It might. It might. Some people it gets better. Some people it's uh, pretty tiring. I'm uh, I'm in, I'm in the tiring part, but uh, let's see what do we got here next. I want to get through Raw. Um, please, yes, please. Usos against Cesaro and Kid. Yeah, they got the uh, they got the pin again, which is good. Um, so thank I I like how they mentioned that the Usos are to the back of the line. So hopefully we won't see. The Usos getting a, a rematch at Mania. I'm guessing they're probably gonna do like a, like a four way. Maybe. Maybe. Like primetime players, Ascension, Usos, and um, Cesaro and Tyson Kidd. The eight man tag. Man, eh, I, I yeah. I mean, honestly, I'd rather see an eight man tag, like a Survivor Series type of match. But I th- it would make sense if they made it a four way, so they could defend the title. Yeah, probably shove the other guys in the uh, in the uh, uh, Andre the Giant Battle Royal, which we yeah. which obviously is happening. They announced it last night. Ryback and um, Curtis Axel both announced they were in it. So, right, um, good. I'm I'm glad they they said it was annual. I'm glad they stuck to it. Right. So good good for them. Uh, well, you got anything more on this match, or do you just want to go to the next one? No, let's go to the next one. Okay. Uh, Jack Swagger against, oh, man. <laughs> against Stardust. Yeah, this was whatever, man. I mean, Gold. Uh, yeah, this is this isn't even worth mentioning. Okay. Um, <laughs> I mean, Jack well, Swagger then, wins over. Then, then we're really gonna go through this fast because the next match is uh, the Bella Twins against Paige and Emma. And the and next match is yeah. Ryback. <laughs> and on to the next one. What we, what we were talking about was Ryback and Curtis Axel. They came out there, and then they had a match. Yeah. Did you see his shirt? 
Axel Mania. <laughs> In the Hogan colors, I loved yes. it. I loved it. I gotta say, I thought it was fucking awesome. I wonder how many they sold. Probably ten. <laughs> it's the funniest shit ever. Oh my god. Yes, man. That that made my night. I like again. It. I this this tends to be the case with me. I fall asleep through wrestling <laughs> because uh, well, I shouldn't say all wrestling. Mostly WWE. Um, and. <laughs> Once again, last night that was the case. So I fell asleep and I woke up to the actual mania. And it was that was probably the greatest portion of the show to to wake up to. That was awesome. Yeah, yeah, I I loved his shirt. I thought it was awesome. So how how long has he been in the rumble match now? Like twenty eight days or some shit. He said it like to the second, <laughs> and I was the twenty nine days, nineteen yes. hours, and thirty seven, thirty eight, thirty nine, the- forty. I was like, oh my god. By the way, quick shout out to uh, Anthony McGoldrick because he, he on our Facebook because he actually he said that idea like right after it happened. Yeah, he put it on our face. He was like, it, "It'd be funny if they like went on with this and, you know, like a month later came out and said he's still, you know, he's, he's still holding on to that title of, you know, yeah, being in the run with the longest." <clears throat> and then they did it. I know. I was laughing Dude, at that too. You know what would be really funny if he ever goes into like the Hall of Fame, which I doubt is ever going to happen. And he's like sixty years old, and he goes up there, and you know, he claims he's he's the the guy that's that's got the record for for staying in the, in the rumble for the longest time. I'm still and, in that and, rumble. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's been thirty four years <laughs> and six. <it's, laughs> that'd be amazing. They should do that. That'd be fucking awesome. Oh man, awesome. you're welcome, WWE. That's that's your your welcome of the night. Oh. Uh, you're welcome, WWE. That's another great idea for you to use. That's funny. I like that one. All right. So if we're done with that match, you know what? You know what? You know what time it is. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the main event. Main eventing it up. You know it. Uh, Roman Reigns and Daniel Bryan versus Orton, Randy Orton, and Seth Rollins. Yeah. I. I, I mean, like I said, I fell asleep again. So my DVR cut off the last like five minutes of the show, but up until then I watched the match and it was it was a great match. Although I didn't see the the conclusion, so I can't really comment on what happened at the end. Oh, you didn't. So. Oh, you know what? I do remember what happened. Uh, it, it went through the match, blah blah blah. Orton and uh, Orton Rollins kept showing some tension. Orton walks out um, of the match. I can't take this. I can't take this. Orton walks out. Rollins gets pinned, which starts a whole thing, and Orton finally walks back in the ma- in the ring and grabs Rollins, throws him against the ropes, and just shakes his hand. Yeah. Obviously building to a Mania match. It's not a very interesting ending. I mean, I know it's it's leading up to something, but... Oh, yeah, it's definitely leading up to some stuff, so... I don't know. We'll see. No, that was Raw. That was Raw. So we got a little bit of news and Oh we got a lot of news, man. That's why I was trying to get a get uh roll over with. We'll go through it quick. We're not gonna dwell on anything. So um what do you got? I got Brock Lesnar walking out on the WWE. People nice. are nice. I was man. gonna bring that up too, and I've got more on it, so go ahead and see what you got and I'll see if I probably have nothing more than you have because you're probably Um gonna... You actually probably have the latest version. Mine is from just like they, they literally this it was hilarious because Dave Meltzer reported it and it was just like it was like yeah um yeah Brock Lesnar was pissed off backstage but we don't know why and we have nothing else yeah <laughs> it literally said that well, something pretty, happened we, oh, we this is exactly what something happened but we don't know what happened it's yeah. like oh all right that's awesome something happened but you don't know what happened but something happened like no shit something happened. Why not just say, like, you know, Brock Lesnar just, like, it, it has some kind of argument backstage with, with the WWE staff or some bullshit or whatever they have. Yeah. Instead of saying something happened, but we don't know what happened. Just say what you know. You don't need to fucking dwell on the fact that you don't know anything yet. Maybe it was the fact that Paul Heyman was going out there and putting over some other guy. Uh, I don't know. I don't think it's the pay or anything, cause like he's on a contract, right? So 
Yeah, and according to Meltzer, this is nothing. He doesn't think the main event, you know, the, the WrestleMania match is in jeopardy. So I guess it's a good thing. I, I really don't have anything more than you do. Yeah. Yeah. So, well, I guess they still don't know anything yet. They still don't. They're just <laughs> they saying. They still don't know anything. WWE yet. probably doesn't want this out, but, you know, something happened, but we're not sure what happened. It's funny because I saw like nodq.com like update the story like seven times throughout the last like 10 hours. It just thing. says the same shit. It's like, exactly. It's like, we're, we're something happened, but we happened. don't know what happened. Yeah, exactly. Cool. That's what I keep getting to. Oh, so you still don't know. All right. All right. Nice. 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 Yeah, you still I, don't know. All right. No. You just wanted that click from me then. All right. That's exactly. cool. Exactly. That's, that's what cool. Wanted. Just wanted that click. That's I'll, I'll give you a couple more clips if that makes you happy. Why not? Give us some clicks. THTPodcast.com. Go ahead and give us some clicks, folks. There you go. Click THT. on that bitch like six times. Yeah, just click it. Yeah. Um, what else you got? Uh, Stephanie McMahon thanks AJ Lee for, for <laughs> tweets. I guess AJ's... Is she coming back, do you think? I got no clue. I have no clue. Yeah. Ask Meltzer. <laughs> <laughs> he, he knows something happened, but he doesn't know what happened. Yeah, something's happening with her, but I'm not sure. So, you know. Yeah, you know, that. Yeah, so, this is not even interesting to get into. I don't even know why I'm mentioning it. No, Forget go it. ahead. No, it's, I'd, I'd rather not. All right. Um, <laughs> whatever. She's basically just complaining. She's complaining about how the divas are treated. And that's oh. it. Well, and Vince McMahon, Stephanie basically thanks her for voicing her opinion because, you know, it's the WWE and we support, you know, voicing your opinion as long as it's not on our, you know, fucking corporate platform. As long as it like, doesn't make like, us look like bad. Like Darren Young. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Don't make us look bad. Yeah, don't make us look bad, but voice your opinion, which, I mean, it makes sense, but, you know, I hate how they're, like, so corny with it, you know? Yeah. They have to be so fucking PC all the time. Which, uh, again, I, I know. I know why. I get it, dude. It's just annoying. I don't blame them for doing it. I know. It's, it's, it's like a billion-dollar company. I get it. They have people to make happy. They have fucking investors. I get it. But it's just annoying. Yeah. Yeah. That's I all. I agree. I know. That's all. Everything's PC, man. Everything is PC, dude. PC. Except, except for this show. Yeah, PC WWE. So, speaking of PC WWE, it looks like WWE is not happy about the um, Legends of Wrestling event coming up at um, the New York Mets City Field Stadium. They're hosting a big Legends of Wrestling event. And, they're I mean, it, it's got Ric Flair and a bunch of other guys. And WWE is not happy about this. Because SummerSlam is going to be there not long after. Yes, that's their reason. Yeah, I just I actually just saw that. I, I mean, this is fucking again childish. <laughs> same oh my shit. god, they are in our. Oh my god, they're going to make us look bad. <sighs> yeah, it's such fucking. This is like fucking really. This is something you'd see a nine hundred two one zero. God damn it. Um, I just thought I'd mention that because I was reading it as I, as we were talking. Absolutely. By the way, so, and this is not news related, but what the hell has happened to Luke Harper? Where is this guy? Please. I don't know. He was on last night. What, was no? he? No, he was on. Uh, no, he was in the on the fast lane. No, he wasn't. Wasn't he in the in the match? The um. No, he wasn't. Oh my God, you're right. He wasn't. He hasn't been around for like. A, like two, two weeks, three weeks. Two, three weeks. I don't know. He's not injured or anything. I hope they're actually like doing something new with him. And I mean, actually, I don't. I don't even want something new from. Him. I'm fine with the way he is. Just give him a push. Maybe he's doing um, wine promotion since he's a vintner and all. No, that's Eric Rowan. Oh, you're right. You're right. Luke Harper. He's uh, no, he wasn't on. You're. I don't know where he is. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe he's gonna be like in the Marine Five. There you go. They should actually use him for a movie. I could see him being. He'd be a good like serial villain. killer. Yeah, yeah villain, he'd be a good villain. Killer. There you go. Absolutely. There you go. Um, 
Shaheen, this is one of surprise you haven't brought up yet. What's that? Someone has put their Hall of Fame ring up for sale. Oh, yeah. Abdul the Butcher? That man is Abdul the Butcher. Yes, sir. I'm surprised you didn't mention that. I actually was expecting you to do that. Um, I forgot about that. Yep. He has put his ring on uh, for sale. Yeah, I guess he has to get some uh, some medical procedures done. He's got some health problems. Uh, needs some hip replacement surgery. Um, you would really figure this wonderful company would help him out that everyone says how great they are um i got a feeling in the end they will because it's now coming kind of coming out in media so why uh, though why would they he's never worked for them no but he's in their hall of fame but and that doesn't i mean dude come on he's, he's never done a wwe show no but putting him in the hall of fame means he probably has a legends contract and uh, mm, mm. i don't know man do you no maybe no, they're, with Abdullah, no. No. What are they using him for? I don't know. They no, absolutely not. I think they just put him in the Hall of Fame. That's it. Okay. I don't. I think they want to stay away from him as much as possible, dude. They, there is. He's on the on the top twenty five rivalries on, on on the DVD, and he has he's like number like I don't know. I'm just making up a number eighteen, on the list against Bruiser Brody, and there's no footage of him talking there's just nothing from this guy on any dvds any networks but nothing they want to stay away from this guy as much as possible and especially with him going on you know on ebay and and, and selling his his ring there no no way yeah i don't know he might but i don't know we'll see what happens in the end you know how wwe do it gets out in media they're gonna want to help to make themselves look charitable so we'll see what happens. Um, yeah, actually, hold on. This is even funnier. <laughs> Look, this this is on No DQ, and and they're they're quoting uh, Dave Meltzer, right? All right. <laughs> they updated it. They uh, they updated it. They <laughs> updated it. <laughs> it's it's past my bedtime, dude. Fuck you. I'm the it, one drinking, Shaheen. <laughs> I know. I know. I'm sober as hell. <laughs> Whatever, man. They updated it. And it said, uh, he added, Dave Meltzer said, something happened. <gasps> That's it. Oh, my God. That was the update. Oh, good. Thank direct, you for that. Direct quote from, from Dave Meltzer. You heard it here. Something happened. Ladies and gentlemen, THT, hot taggers, you've heard it here. Something happened. Something happened. Something happened. We don't know what happened. We have no clue what, but something. Oh, this is this is interesting. Um, may I share? Of course. Hell, oh, thanks. <laughs> uh, all right. A few rumored names for the Hall of Fame this year. Mm -hmm. we got uh, Kevin Nash. Mm -hmm. I'm fine with that. Heard that. Well, we got we got the Bushwhackers last night. We I, forgot to mention that. A lot yep. of people are complaining about this, dude. Why? Go fuck yourselves. Why? Exactly. Shut Thank the you. hell up, man. Shut up. These guys, who cares if they had a stupid gimmick? In the, and, you know, I'm not some 60-year-old guy that's, that can say that he watched them in the 70s. I didn't, but I, I've, I still saw some of their stuff as the, as the sheep herds, and I saw them as, as the bushwhackers the whole time in the W. You know, you can still appreciate them, dude. They, they still... Did their thing man they've been around forever and you know they were fucking brutal as the as the sheep or it's like the complete 180 like the fucking bushwhackers you know <laughs> but uh yeah man i think they they they, they deserve it i'm they absolutely deserve. fine with this and you know people the same people are complaining about rikishi same people go fuck yourself yes literally take your dicks shove them in your ass and fuck yourself if you can yes if you're Seth Rollins, you're not gonna be able to. No, if you're if you're if just forget it. Anyway, I didn't mean to get that graphic, but <laughs> it's, it's 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 past eleven o'clock, man. Whew. It's all right. Gay. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> well, let's get into not gay. Let's Tammy, do it. Tammy Sitch is skyping again. 
Oh, good God. I saw it. I posted this, didn't I? Yeah, I forgot. I don't I forgot know, man. This. $50. Yeah, I posted for this. 50 bucks for 10 minutes? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm talking about a different different thing. 50 bucks for 10 minutes? 10 minutes. That's that's not bad. But she's only in lingerie. 100 bucks for 10 minutes, and you see everything. Well, I'd rather not see anything. <laughs> Dude, she she just like she looked. Don't get me wrong, she looked gorgeous at like in '95. Oh yeah. But like right now, dude, she just looks gross. Well, not I even know. like not even like she looks bad for her age. She just looks like dirty, you know. Well, for a hundred bucks. Hello, ladies. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. Anyway. Oh um, yeah. I I really don't know why I mentioned that. I'm sorry, but there is another rumored name going in the WWE this year. Uh, yeah, I just, I completely lost yes. my train of thought with that. Yes, uh, speaking of apologize. hot MILFs. Yep. Wait a minute, Med no. Okay, yeah, go ahead. Medusa. Yes. Medusa. We haven't seen this lady forever, and I guess, uh, I guess they squashed any kind of beef they may have had about the whole tossing of the women's title on Nitro. Yeah, I've already. I, I, when I was in the Wrestling Inc., I looked at some of the comments. Oh, my God, people. She was still... Please, don't worry about it. Who cares who's in this Hall of Fame? Can we relax a little bit? Yeah, people people take this shit too serious. Man. Really, dude. It's just just fucking, relax. It's, 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 the, it's just something to honor some people the night before Mania. Relax. Relax. No, I mean it's 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 a, it's a cool thing, and it's it's yeah. it's obviously an honor to be there. But you know, Coco Beware is in there, dude. Like, shut up. Yeah, even shut even, up. Even Kevin in our chat room, he's got. It doesn't matter who goes in the Hall of Fame anymore. It's it's just a night for the boys to get together and do whatever. It, it's just another fucking televised thing for them to produce. Who? Yeah. Cares? Seriously. Seriously. Yeah, basically. Oh, there's people that still aren't in, like Rick Rude and 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 God, uh, shut up. Yeah, but these people they don't understand, dude. There's like a formula to this. They can't just put like five big names every year, you exactly. know. Exactly, and I I hate to say there's a pecking order, but there is a pecking order, and they're yeah, kinda, they're clearly. going through it. I mean, you know, they're they're, they're going through it. It'll in due time, people. Well, he should have been the first one. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. They don't worry. They'll they'll get in. Exactly. Demolition. They'll get in. Rock and Roll Express. They'll get in. Yes. Freebird. They'll yes. get in. They'll get in. Just take. Just wait. relax. Wait. Just wait. Exactly. Thank you, Shaheen. Thank you. Boxman, this is when we need the chill the fuck out button, dude. We do. You're right. All these people, all these people deserve it. You're right. And on a completely different topic, uh, and well, maybe... before you leave this topic, this okay. is what they okay. mean by marks. So this is this is like the fucking markiest of them marks. This oh, is yeah. what this is what marks do. You know, it's just like, dude, like, oh god, well, how can you say the bushwhackers and and Rikishi shouldn't be in there, when, I mean, this isn't like. A Hall of Fame where they only honor, you know, the, the the heavyweight title holders, and you know, like it's it's just a nice thing, like you said, that that you know honors the the I can't even say the greats, just 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 the legendary gimmicks and the legendary uh, wrestlers that were around. That's that's essentially what it is. It's not even it's not like it only has to be The Rock and Austin and Hogan and Warrior. You know, there's other guys in there. It's fine. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I mean. It, it, don't, don't, don't be like that. Who, who gives a fuck who's in the fucking Hall of Fame anymore? I really don't. As yeah. soon as, as soon as Drew Carey went in, come on. No, oh, please, don't, don't remind me. Man. I know you did, but right around then is when you had to say, you know what? Who gives a fuck? Yeah. Who cares anymore? And I don't. I, I, it's fun. It's just, uh, who cares? Like I said, it's one more thing for them to produce. The boys can just, you know, have a good night, get together, and not worry about. Think you went out wrestling. on me. I'm here. You here? I'm here. I'm here. Boxman went out on me. What happened, Boxman? No, man? I'm right here. God damn it! Are you there? I am here. You're not there. 
No, I am here. You just heard me. Well, I heard, I heard, I heard a part of what you said. I'm not sure why that happened. I don't know. Yeah. I'm not touching anything or doing anything. You're partially here. No, I'm here fully now, I think. Yeah, that, yeah, you are. Okay, I'm back. I don't know what happened. Um, we brought you back in the hologram. There you go. Thanks to Bray Wyatt. Let me take over the Undertaker's soul now. Let's do it. There you go. <laughs> Let's do it. Um, but uh, another, another, another thing. Um, Viscera's wife, Mabel's yes. wife, is suing the WWE, and she. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be a dick, dude. But calm the fuck on, man. Like, can we stop this shit, man? Okay. It's the, the, the guy was five, six hundred pounds. Not six hundred, but you know, he was like four or five hundred pounds. Right. Right. Now you know. Did you read this whole 124-page suit? Yeah. No, you didn't. Um, I'll be honest. I took a glance. I did take a glance. I looked at uh, a couple hundred pages. Honestly, I did. Do you know basically this just names like every wrestler who – it was a depressing read because it named yeah, almost I've every – Yeah, I've seen it. You, you, you really did read it? Yeah, it's like a fucking book, man. It's it just is, a book that just – is. Yeah, it's a book of dead wrestlers. They should actually publish it. It was actually like interesting. I it, actually... Exactly, dude. It literally is a book of dead wrestlers. They should they should just make money off of that instead of trying yeah. to yeah. sue people. But I mean, and do you know what she's suing for? The most ridiculous part is that she's suing because she can't have sex with him anymore. Wow. Yeah. That's fucking ridiculous. It, the, 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 this lawsuit is very. Uh, she found a, a, a an, an ambulance chaser who saw a fucking opening, in my opinion. But I don't know. We'll see what happens. It's actually gone mainstream. It it was picked up by some pretty big websites. So we'll see what happens with it. But I don't know if it's gonna go anywhere, man. Yeah, I think she's just money hungry. I don't. I don't picking at straws. I don't mean to pass judgment, just what I feel from this whole situation. Well, let's face it, dude. Her, it hasn't been that long. She's probably still distraught. She wants she she wants to lash out and do something, but you know. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I'm I'm sure she's still grieving, but yeah. I mean, let's. You can't you can't deny the fact that I mean the the, the part that I find ridiculous is 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 her claims that he, you know he didn't know, you know the the risks of of wrestling and. All, like, come on, man. This is that's ridiculous. These guys, they know what they're doing. Yeah, they you know, do, they willingly do what they do. They know. Trust me, they know every risk. Right. So, yeah, they've. they've believe me, if 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 we as fans know the risks, believe me, they know. Well, if they don't know, they they'll know the first time they get in the ring. I'm sure. Well, I know the risks because I watch the "Don't Try This at Home" things that come on. Oh, there you go. You're 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 a good boy. Yes, that's how I know the risks of wrestling. Don't try this at home. By the way, before I was coming here, I was suplexing my son on the bed. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely parenting. Co-sign that. Dude, my two-year-old loves that shit. You should hear him laugh. He screams. He's laughing so hard. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure, man. It's, it's good time. <laughs> I cover. But, uh, I, I I cover his neck. Don't worry. Um. You you tell him to fucking tuck his chin. Tuck your chin, kid. Tuck your chin. Tuck your chin, kid. You're about to take a bump. Nah, I might I, be I, a rough one. I literally grab his head, make sure it's tucked myself. Yeah. So, um, another interesting story though. Are, are, or did you have more on that? I'm sorry. No, no, no. Yeah. If you want to segue into the other lawsuit. Um. Uh, uh. Oh, the other law. Yeah, CM Punk and uh, Cole Cabana are getting sued, yeah, dude. Yeah, I, I didn't, I don't know if I wanted to get into that. There's a whole thing that WWE is cooking up this lawsuit just to get back at Punk, and I, I, are they that petty? Do you think they are? Oh yeah. Really? Fuck it. I guess. I mean, uh, and yeah, know, it, it, yeah. That I mean, time, yeah. Basically, definitely. they're just trying to save face, is what Meltzer's reporting. You know, all the, 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 you know, this, that. But I don't know, man. Who knows? I, I guess we'll have to see where this one comes out to. I guarantee this one, that one gets settled out of court. 
Yeah, most definitely. Man. That one's gonna. Get they, they don't want to drag us out. No, that one's gonna get buried. Um, but yeah, but, you're um, right. I, I I forgot about that one. Thank I you. I feel bad for for uh, Cabana though. Yeah, innocent bystander with a podcast. And, I'm sure uh, uh, CM Punk will help him out though. Oh yeah, I wouldn't worry about Cabana. Innocent bystander though, just uh, all he did was give his friend a fucking forum to speak on, and now he's got a lawsuit slapped on him. Yeah. I shouldn't find that funny, but I do. <laughs> Might get a couple Z-Packs slapped on him. Oh, a Z-Pack. <laughs> did you hear the Z-Pack chance that he got a couple weeks ago? Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> See, like that's that's what I love about like the fans, you know? <laughs> they do funny shit like that, man. Sometimes the smarks it. really come up with a good one. You got to give them some fucking credit. Oh, yeah, man. Definitely. Yeah, like that one. Um, that was a good one. I did like that one. <laughs> um, oh, NXT star Solomon Crow apparently helped out uh, last night at a car accident. He pulled a woman from a uh, turned over SUV. Yeah, that's my boy, man. Yeah, he was in the like he said. He tweeted he was in the right place at the right time and um, didn't even think about it. Ran right in and uh, helped out this lady. So uh, this. If WWE's smart, they'll capitalize and give him a nice little push since he just debuted anyway. What? No. I'm sorry. Did I say smart and capitalize yeah, in the no. same sentence? Dude, they had their biggest star. Fucking. Didn't he have Didn't he have an intruder come to his house and he fucking ran the guy out of the house? No, that was Daniel Bryan. That's what I'm saying. They had their biggest star yeah. at the moment do that and they didn't even fucking mention it. No, it was. Look, they saved that for Total Divas. Jesus Christ. Man. Yeah, they did. They, honest to God, I'm not lying, they saved that shit for Total Divas. Yeah. They did. They went into the whole thing on there, and I guess that's what the, why they didn't bring it up on TV. So, Pfft, whatever. You can do both. You could. You could. I mean, Total Divas or Raw, which, uh, which platform do you think gets more, more views? Uh, ooh. Honestly, dude, I don't know. <laughs> you know what's a tough one? TNA or uh, Total Divas? Mm, I think Total Divas has them beat. Total Divas had, like, double the, what they had on their first episode. Everyone was, you know, complaining about it. Well, not complaining, but, you know, making fun of WWE. Yeah, TNA got a point three last week. Yeah, they did bad last week. I saw that. Yeah, that's not good. No. Let's let's blame it on the bad weather. Uh all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right then. <laughs> all right. And I, I've I've got one more thing for news and I'm done. I don't know about you, but um Harlem Heat reformed this weekend after fifteen years at uh Booker T's reality of wrestling and uh became the champions. Yeah, I did see that. Um and also the Dudleys actually threw out a challenge to the Harlem Heat. Yeah. I'm yeah. I'm 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 down for that. Yeah, let's see it on the on WWE. Why not? Yeah, there's yeah. uh some pictures, some um I'll go ahead and post this on Facebook because there's pictures and there's some videos of it too. Nice. Nice. So what do you got, Shaheen? What else, man? What happened, dude? I'm here. I'm here. Oh, I couldn't hear you. Well, God damn it. Oh, fuck your computer, man. Josh Matthews has a new podcast, a men's fashion podcast. What? Oh. <laughs> Stop is, it, man. This is, Stop. Dude, I'm reading our Facebook right now. Stephen, oh, we, can't, we can't end the show with that shit. <laughs> Stephen McBreen, I'm reading it right now. <laughs> oh, man. Holy shit, are you kidding me? I hope he's kidding you. I hope he's kidding. Hold on. Let me go. Hold on. Hold on. You there? Yeah. All right. Hold on a minute. Please tell me this is fake. I'm on I'm on the podcast app right now. I'm sure he's I'm sure he's on serious. my iPhone. Is Steve not a liar? No. I'm I'm sure he's telling the truth. All right, I don't see it on iTunes, but that doesn't mean anything. 
Well, it could be that he's launching one. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. I'll wait three more seconds. No, I don't know. I don't know. I don't see it. What's the name of the podcast? I don't know. I was looking for it. Josh Matthews Podcast. We'll have to ask, uh, you'll, you'll, you'll have to ask Steve when you see him during a, a, a red stripe or two. Yeah, it's, yeah. Talk TNA Podcast. Talk TNA is not his. He's on, he was on Talk TNA. I've heard Talk TNA before. I personally didn't like it, but that means nothing. Everybody has different taste in their podcasts. No, he's getting his own. Yeah, it's coming up. Oh, and it's a fashion. Yeah, and it's going to be fashion. Gonna be, yeah, it's going to be focusing on on trending fashion for the you know of the twenty to thirty men's demographic. So, oh, are you yeah. Ser- oh my god. So this you- actually, I might dislike this guy more than he more than Cena now, because first of all, he disrespected uh, Jim Ross. And now he's doing a men's fashion podcast, and he's doing the commentary on t- Jesus Christ. Oh. You know what we can do? What's that? I know what we can do. Give me one second, and I'll figure it out. We can do... Josh Matthews? You dick! Of the week. He is the dick of the week. There we go. We hadn't done awesome. that. Awesome, yeah. We, we found almost found forgot. A- Nice, we got we found the dick of the week. Uh, yeah. So that's nice. There you awesome. go. And I, I see that we can't end the show with that. We can't. Why not? We're gonna have to because I got not a goddamn thing else to talk about. I don't either. It's almost twelve here, so I want to get the fuck out of here. Yeah, we've been going. Uh, let's see how long here. We've got uh, four hours, dude. Almost. Well, we've been going two and a half on this one. Yeah, so uh, probably time to stop. Yeah, we've been going for three hours and 40 minutes. Yep. Uh, yeah, on that note, ladies and gentlemen, quick plugs. Join us on THTPodcast.com. All the interviews, all the archived episodes will be on there. Go ahead. Go in- <laughs> you see, Bo- it's time for Boxman to go to sleep. No, I threw my bottle in the it's- trash. I'm sorry. I forgot there was one in there. I am sorry. No. I thought it was time for you to go to sleep. No, I dropped my bottle in the trash. I forgot there was a bottle. I think they just broke. But oh well. Go ahead, Sheen. That's fine. I'm so sorry to interrupt. There you go, man. My my precious plugs. Okay. Uh, there you go. <laughs> Mixler.com. That is M I X L R. Dot com. Backslash T H T podcast. Backslash. Go ahead on there. Join the club. Make a little name on there. It's worth it. Next week, you're going to be able to stream us live right from the chat, right from that website. And we're going to incorporate a little button right on our website. So you can just click that bitch and you'll be right here. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that in the next day or two. And it's, it's, I, I already checked out what the player looks like. Big, nice player. It looks beautiful, actually. Nice, nice. So there you go. Mixler.com slash THT Podcast. THTPodcast.com. Go ahead on Twitter. We're also on YouTube. Tyson, type in. Uh, I said Tyson. Jesus, Tyson, isn't that a fucking food? Time for some shit. <laughs> Forget it. <laughs> All right, let's get the fuck out of here. Thtpodcast.com, <laughs> Mixler.com/slash Thtpodcast. Once again, thank you guys for joining us. Please go on iTunes. Please go on Stitcher. Tht Wrestling Podcast. Type those words in. Leave us a review. Hit that subscribe button. Join us every week, Tuesday, 8.05 p.m. Eastern. And next week, uh, we're going to have Chris Dickinson. Um, and, yeah, that, that, should, that should be a, definitely a good interview. And once again, thanks to Angel from the Baldies for coming on, entertaining us for the first hour. Definitely. Uh, that was awesome. So we're, we're actually going to have him on right after Mania, um, the week, I guess, the following Tuesday after Mania. And he's going to review Mania with us. So that will be interesting. Definitely. That'll be a fun time, I think. Yeah. Also, thanks once again to Mike Bessler. Um, check out the article on wrestling, wrestlinginc.com. Good stuff. And, yeah, 
Shout out to CZW. Shout out to Indie, Re Indie Wrestling. Jesus, man. I can't speak for shit for the last two minutes. <laughs> is it is it really time for us to go to sleep? Dude. Me? Is, I'm, I'm old, so yeah, it's probably time. For I was going to say, is that what happens to you after... You know, 25, you just like, you have a fucking no. bedtime? No, I you can't speak after 11.45, apparently. No, I still go to bed at fucking 1, 2 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, um, I do too. Yeah. After this, I'll be I'll be doing some stuff on the computer, so I'll be up oh, for a yeah. while. I got to go home, and it takes me at least two hours to wind down from this. Yeah. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be back next Tuesday, 8.05, same place, same time. Next week, go to Mixler.com slash THD podcast. Once again, Mixler dot com slash tht podcast that's it same bat time same bat channel and make a name and i know i know hate people hate like fucking making up names and stuff and logins it literally is but two seconds it's just yeah. email well, name password yeah, that's you it we'll have to confirm an email and i apologize for that but i think this is going to be a, a a definite upgrade for us and uh we'll uh, we'll keep it going yeah this is definitely the the platform we definitely want to broadcast on it's, it's good stuff yeah so that's it that's what i got absolutely all righty all right we'll be back next tuesday see ya see ya thanks for the chat room by the way everybody that came in tonight and subscribed to uh mixler appreciate it guys yes sir all right packer i smell good man time to kick back take some business smoke some weed